Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and I hope the computer doesn't crash. I oh. do oh. have a new fan. It yeah. arrived in not enough time to put mm. it in. So we'll see. The side of the case is off. Uh, do you have a little fan blowing on it? or No. We'll see if it's needed. Okay. Uh, today we're going to be playing <laughs> four Atari 2600 games. Ooh. We're going to be playing Bob and the Alien Fireflies. Bob's a hedgehog. I know. I heard a rumor <laughs> there is a hedgehog yes. on the show today. So we're I'm gonna very be playing excited. Two games by Jab, mm -hmm. uh, Caesar and Domino. And we're going to be playing Alien Abduction, which nice. is an Atari VCS game. Also nice. an Atari 2600 game on the VCS. On so. the VCS. Okay. So, uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Scrolling gently beside Tanya, Al Nefer, Arkham H, Armscar Coder, Atari Ninja 74, Atari Beef Supreme, BR Polka, Buffalo Pinball, Captain Man 2D, Charles Tony Mao, Charles Whelan, Chit Lilla, Curl and Lama, Cubanismo, DNOI, Dan of EC, Drex, Delock, Moo Cows, Gamma Dev, Glenn Main, Glory Defender, Ground Troopers, Your Rapper, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Vader Crocker, 2600, Gweltover, Lambda Express, Larry DZ, Mark Yannis, Mark Space, Sega Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Soul, Mike Patel, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarn, Mr. Fix, Muddy Fun. Nathan Strum, Neo Media, Nostalgia, Coag, R. Anschwitz, R. Ender, Ghost, Brent, Repentless, VG, Rod, <laughs> <laughs> Rod Castler, <laughs> Sledgehammer, Smitty B, Spice Rare, uh, S. Ramirez, a Teleprompter, Tiki Down, K. T. Foes, Trekkum, D. Vexor, X, VVG, Double Down, and X, Ken X, and just before the show, Ground Tripper and RC70 resubscribe. Thank you. And you can too. It's free with Amazon Prime. Just hit subscribe, or if you don't have Amazon Prime, you pay, you pay, you pay. Um, <laughs> and you support the show. And keep and the, the cats, cats fed with treats. Yes. Yes. They look at them. You guys can see them in the cat cam. Yeah. <laughs> They're anxious. They're You're giving waiting. us cat eyes. Oh, the cat eyes. Oh, yeah. Um, I have a poll question. Hmm. Let's start it up. Thrice and once the hedge pig whined. Oh, I don't know that. Do you know that? Where that's I, from? I don't know the reference. Hedge pig. Um... Do you have a multi-cart for all of your gaming slash computer systems? Uh, mm. The options are all of them that are available, because there are some that are not available. Um, missing a couple, but we'll buy them. Mm. That means you want all of them, but don't have them all. <laughs> um, number three, only the main systems I play. Which I think would be the, the sensible answer. <laughs> sensible. <laughs> Not that not I'm assuming sensible. everyone here is sensible. But, um, no, um, we're not sensible. <laughs> uh, our number four, none original media mm. only. Ooh, nostalgia pick, original media only. Nice. Interesting. Nice. Um, I have it for... I mean, that's true to name, right? All my systems. Yeah, so, and by... Even the Channel F. Um, oh, my God. Is it come yet, or is it on its way? I can't remember, but it's going to be here. Um, by virtue of a uh, marriage contract, <laughs> I also have all the systems. Yes. Uh, yes, there we go. You're so lucky. Yeah. None of the work <laughs> just has all the systems. All the systems. Um, while we're waiting for the votes to come in, yeah. let's open the mail. Yay. All the way from around the world, this has come. Is that retro shaming? That would be sensible. How dare it is you not. retro shame. I am not retro shaming. No, this just is the wrong fun. place. This is a, <laughs> it's true. This, this is, is a safe, safe space. space for retro gamers. No retro shaming. Uh, I'm sorry. We I'm can sorry. buy all the games we want and it's equipment. True. It's true. To ridiculous levels. It is from uh, Atari Gamer. <laughs> from Igor. Let's see what it is. Nicely packed. Oh, it's a tiny package. I think I might have to go to the cat cam for this one. <laughs> Gamma Dev, I can quit collecting any time I want. I just don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> there uh, we go. Look at this. Ooh. It is stickers. And he did oh. tell me about these. These are stickers for replacement stickers for uh, Lynx, uh, uh, Lynx 1, Lynx version 1. Uh, let's get the frame action. There we go. So if your stickers are all crazy, mm. there's some replacement stickers. Very nice. Atari. This one is <coughs> um, signed with Ben Venn, which is a replacement screen for the Atari. That one is um, an original looking one. 
or no serial number, so you can fill that in with whatever you want. Um, I think the other package is exactly the same, but I'm just going to check. I do not have a Lynx one. <laughs> you did ask me if I had a Lynx one, but I don't. But I may one day, you never know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Speaking of getting everything you, you know, uh, I think he can quit any time. I can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think it's the same. It's look the same, so two of them. <laughs> Um, so thank you so much for the replacement stickers, Igor. Um, cat, no, they're not for cats. Uh, keep talking. Let me show I'll you right where Sorry. you can get these stickers if you want them from his site. Oh, what just happened to the, uh, cat cam? No, that's not the cat cam. Um, that is something else. Uh, the cats did it. Uh, let's switch back here. So you can get these from K Retro website, which is Igor's website. Um, so there's an Atari Lynx One back sticker, an Atari Lynx One back sticker kit, Ben Venn edition. Okay, and a Atari Lynx One backer back sticker PAG two hundred one. So there are different, oh, you can see that one has some more um, text down the back. And then 201 Ben Ven edition. Okay. Oh, you need an extra mic for the cat cam. Oh, no. Let's turn it up. Check, check, check. Let's move it out a bit. Check, check, check. Sorry. Um, hopefully you could hear that. But they are, they are stickers for the Lynx 1. I should have, uh, I should have uh, spoken up a bit more. Um, so let me post this in the chat for those of you who had Lynx ones who need some replacement stickers. There we go. Oh, and you can get ones with a serial number as well. What? Oh, it's just the back sticker for this one. And I guess, yeah, you ask for what serial number, so you would have to know your serial number for your um links and that's just for the one back sticker okay 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 and there's a bunch of other stuff here uh sun visor uh screen lens rubber pads a whole bunch of replacement stuff so if your links is all trashed then that's where you can get it an extra mic uh then we'd get too many mics I, would, I could just detach the mic or turn it around uh, so, uh, what was going to say? Oh, the votes. The votes are in. So in first place, all of them that are available. Wow, you guys are hardcore. And in second and third place, they're kind of in order, missing a couple of will buy them, and then only the main systems, 26% each, and then none original media, only 13%. Um... Dan says, I've got a 7800 and a Jaguar, but I have a Harmony for the 2600, Concerto for the 7800, Jag GD for my Jaguar, plus I have a Supercharger from way back. Well, that's not being used, but I have a Lynx, but it's not in use. Um, so you don't have the Lynx game drive, I'm guessing, because uh, you didn't list that. So you have most of them. Mm. Uh, I don't know what to choose. I only have one multi-cart for an old system I don't use. Mm. Uh, I don't know. You it's original three. media then. <laughs> yeah, original media <laughs> then. You're not only using three. it then. Yeah. yeah. I only have one system, so it's not so hardcore. Mm. Uh, okay. Um, okay, what's up next? Oh, this is interesting. Okay. So uh, a couple days ago, Tuesday, uh, Alexi uh, Eben posted in the Atari Age forums, uh, Star Bars is a new music sequencer and play routine for the Atari 2600. The editor runs on a Commodore 64. <laughs> and he says, sorry about that. I'm not sure why he's sorry. Um, and exports both PAL and NTSC Atari 26... Sprite. We'll tell your story in a second. Yeah. S -s Stay with us. <laughs> and exports both PAL and NTSC Atari 2600 ROM in images containing your music and the music player code. Um, and there's a link to download it, and it's part of the CSDB competition, which you can see here. Starbar's Atari 2600 Music Competition. I'm guessing it's he's entered this as software into the competition. Nice. Uh, standalone mm. uh, competition. 
who needs three voices? Two is enough. Because <laughs> the twenty six uh, C sixty four is three voices. Gotcha. Twenty six hundred is two only two gotcha. voices. Um, who needs three voices? Two and is two is enough. Star Bars is a music sequencer and play routine for the Atari twenty six hundred video game console from the late seventies. Uh, Star Bars uses a, a teatonic, uh, the chip music chip in the twenty six hundred, so it's called a tia. A tia. Uh, so teatonic tuning to achieve eight times improved yes. frequency resolution over TIA chip au naturel. And it can play the full chromatic scale over six octaves. Interesting. No okay. more awful out of tune Atari 2600 <laughs> bleeps. Uh, C1, F2, and E3, F6 are the most accurate note ranges. Oh, C1 to F2 and E3 to F6. Uh, F sharp 2 and D sharp 3 and above F sharp 6 are a bit hazy. Mm -hmm. Um, download the editor here, find the manual here, um, submit your tune as a PRG or a D64 file with or without star bars editor included on disc. Competition starts now, so the competition will be over in four days. Mm. So hopefully they do well. This is very cool. Are we supposed to see what you're reading? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's just a little slow. Um, yeah, you are supposed to see it. Uh, and on the 20th of August, uh, the winners will be announced. Winner gets lots of fame and visibility. Um, and they ask you to vote for them. Uh, here is the original post. There is the sequencer. There is the output. Very pretty. Um, and he's posted some videos. But I can do one better. I have a Commodore 64 <gasps> sitting out right now. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do with that? Let's uh, load it up. I've got everything ready. I don't know which input I have, but it should be on input seven. Mm. To load it up, I think. Yep, number seven. We could play Impossible Mission, yes. <laughs> <We could. laughs> That's your first thought. Uh, let's play My Impossible Mission. There we go. So let's load it up. Okay, kittens, you're gonna have to move. Move this chair. Okay. Under utilities, star bars. So let's go into that and load it up. Very nice. Kittens, come on. Ask for calm. Um, um, so we're good. There's two demo songs that come with the system. Okay. With this sequencer. He is submitting, I think, different songs for the competition. Okay. So you can play so we, it we without can giving anything away. That's so. right. So nice. it automatically loads up uh, one song, but I'm going to load the other one first. Uh, Thai Tycoon. I need to redo these keys on the C64. Um, the cat is trying to interfere with your stream right now. Oh no, we don't want that. There you go. So to start it up, you press a uh, space bar. I'm just going to make sure we're not blasting anybody's ears out. Turn it down a little bit. Yeah, we don't get to see the C64 in here very often. No. I think I've only played it once. On the So obviously this is using the SAID, mm. the um, chip, On musical the, chip, yeah. the audio chip, and the C64. Oh, the C64. Pretty good for two, uh, two voices. Mm -hmm. Sounds very full. Okay, I'm going to load the other one. That one was called Thai Tycoon, and this one's called Barbie. Come on. Hopefully I don't get content matched. You probably will. Sounds a little different. No, more Barbie. <laughs> 
No more Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think uh, the Barbie song could get even more popular, <laughs> but it did. It did. That's pretty awesome. That's a very short one. Um, okay. <laughs> There's a lot of no more Barbie. You're <laughs> killing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to switch uh, over. Now, you can output um, the music. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a tracker. So it's a TIA tracker. Mm -hmm. um, now, you can output the music into um, Commodore 64 files, or you can output into A26 files, which is what the Atari 2600 can read. So, let's load Atari up the Atari 2600. <laughs> and see how they sound there. Pretty close. Nice. Now this is astounding sounding mm. for a 2600. Like astounding. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very timely. Barbie Renaissance, yes. And then it uh, repeats. Now, the way it, this program is able to achieve this amount, uh, this, the accuracy of the notes. We've heard this kind of accuracy in other yeah. um, programs before, other musical um, things. But, um, so what it does is wavers. It's like a vibrato if you're using a human voice. Okay. And it wavers between two notes two bad notes, because the 2600 only has bad notes. I think there's like one perfect note in the whole 2600. Yeah. Um, so it wavers between the two bad notes mm. and goes between them fast enough and also evens them out. Say, say it's like two thirds to one note yeah. and one third to the other. It would like do two two times one, and then one the it, other. I yeah. get what you're saying. And so it finds the middle point. It's, it's like yeah, balancing it out. That's funny. And that's very funny. This program yeah. is um, able to do it really, really, really fast because it's not doing much on the screen. It's not getting inputs from a joystick or anything like that. It's making a beautiful rainbow of this. That's right. I, I, I don't know why you settled on Tai Tycoon instead of Barbie. Uh, content matching issues. Sure. That's why. <laughs> um, sure. <laughs> so, um, if cool. you didn't have an accelerator like a CDFJ or a DPC Plus, it might be a little bit hard to incorporate the way it does music into a game. Into a game, yeah, okay. Um, because it's updating the notes multiple times a frame. Mm. Um, so, eh. <laughs> because he listens to his own. <laughs> The Barbie. Oh, the Barbie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also that, yeah. People are like, no, the Barbie. <laughs> okay, kittens, your tail is Which we did squished. see over the weekend. Oh, so. yeah, we will uh, yeah, we'll talk about some movies. Yep. Okay. So if you're looking for a um, a TIA sequencer, it's a very good one. Mm. Um, it doesn't, as far as I know, output code. So it would be difficult to incorporate it into a game unless you disassembled what it outputs. It's outputting? A, A24, which is possible as well, but it adds a layer of difficulty okay. on yeah. top of it because there there are other trackers but those other trackers output the code that you could use to develop a game yes okay. as opposed to this one that just spits out here's, an here's a beautiful little made tune. program tune yeah. but it is cool yeah it is yeah. cool uh, Barbie Girl was so popular when it first came oh. out the local radio station played it for all four slots in their top four show one after that's a bit much yeah that is a bit much yeah it's like interlacing for sound mm -hmm. um, it's it's akin to interlacing that yeah. for sound yeah that's a good way to you yeah know, nostalgic because yeah. it's blending two different things yeah. together um so there are three <laughs> confirmed atari age releases for prge so far 
Um, oh. Al did put out a list of possible PRG releases, um, but now two are 100% confirmed, as much as anything can be confirmed, I suppose, until you show up there and uh, see it in front of your eyes, then of course it's nothing, nothing is confirmed. Uh, the first one he announced was Berry Fun. Uh, this is by Mike Letow with uh, graphics or packaging artwork by Atari Boy 2600. Nice. And it looks awesome. Uh, the packaging's help. great. So colorful. Yeah. <laughs> help Farmer McDonald harvest his strawberry crop by assisting the AccuPick 2600. Nice. Can you pick all the berries before time runs out? Make sure not to pick strawberries that aren't aren't yet ripe. Um, Berry Fun is a brand new Atari 2600 game by Mike Letown will be released at Portland Retro Gaming Expo in October. And then, of course, go into the store afterwards in November, he yes. says. Uh, and the second one is Electro Ball, another oh, amazing game by Mike Letow. Yeah. And this packaging is done by VHZC. Very nice. Great artwork. Beautiful artwork. N excellent font as well. Mm. Electro Ball is a fast new, uh, new fast-paced futuristic head-to-head -head sports. Me of this. Yes, yeah, it does. Nice. It's got the neon. Mm -hmm. Mike Letow for the Atari 2600 with over 10,000 gameplay variations. Can you defeat your human and AI opponents? Would be the new Electro Ball champion? Debuts at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Be available online. Online. Does that mean in the store? Or yeah, is in the Atari binary? store in November. Oh. Uh, in November. Um, nice. And a link to it there. Uh, is that a new name in Atari art? Uh, the, oh, the other one? Atari 2600 Boy? Uh, Atari Boy 2600. No, he's done uh, number, a number of number other of items. artwork. Yeah. But also, it's very cute. If you look close, if I can actually get there. Mm. What is this? <gasps> what is this? <laughs> Couch compliant yeah. uh, stamp on that one and the other one. As Jeez. well, both couch compliant. Very happy. <laughs> which was termed on this show. Uh, yeah. Um, Beautiful um, little icon that someone's made too. Uh, yes. Do you remember who it was? Who? There was a number of people okay. who collaborated with it, but there's like one it. specific person who. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I should have worn my couch compliant yeah. shirt. I did. So this oh. was completely random. Oh, you didn't know we were doing I Commodore didn't know 64. we were doing anything related to the Commodore 64. Oh, today. very nice choice. So that was. Um, and Very Electro Ball is amazing, RC70. I agree. And a great two-player game. And it's got really good AI playing against the computer. Um, and uh, Mike reminded me when I posted this on Zero Page um, on Facebook that it was during this show, during Electro Ball, that that term first came up. Oh, really? Couch compliant. Really? Yeah, many years ago. Mm. Um, so that that's, that's cool. really cool. That uh, is really cool. Cool little like uh, piece of trivia there. Yeah. Um, so the third game, um, which doesn't have a posting yet, let's see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Ah, 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 stop. Is uh, the AWA anthology 8 bit and 5200 upcoming release at PRGE? Uh, RRA, this is by Robert Anschwitz, Eric Anschwitz, and John Weisgerber. With Atari Age's front page announcement of games that will be making appearance at PRG, I would like to shed some light on the AWA Multicart that will be available for both the 8 bit and 20, uh, 8 bit and 5200. AWA anthology of 14 games, vary from classic shoot 'em ups, strategy games, puzzle games, maze games, and action adventure games. Mm -hmm. We had all three um, developers on the show. We went through all of these games in one show. Oh, okay. Revealing yeah. some of their newest games when nice. we had them on the show. Um, so the there's two versions, one for 8-bit, one for 5200. Mm -hmm. And they've got a nice menu for both. There's the anthology right there. Nice. And a quick information about the game you're about to play. Um, Alien Assault, Kooky Diver, Kooky Climber, Kooky's Quest, Night Rescue, Overflow. Piracy, Piracy 2, Ramsey's Revenge, Robot Dungeon, Sokoban, Space Assailants, Yahtzee, and they missed on the list, Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of good games mm -hmm. in that compilation. You're definitely going to get your money's worth mm -hmm. for that one. Uh, oh, our Antwitz is in the chat. Mm -hmm. There we go. Thanks for mentioning AWA Meltzgard. It is also couch compliant. With the 5200 mm -hmm. and the 8-bit, actually 8-bit might not be 5200. 
Uh, might not be couch compliant, oh. but the 5200 has so many buttons on the joystick. Yeah. And no buttons on the console. Um, but 8-bit does count, count for couch compliance. Okay. Um, 2600 needs it because it's got switches. 7800 needs it because it has switches. Yeah. Um, but a system like Jaguar yeah. has all the buttons on the controller. Yes, 5200 yes. has all the buttons on the controller. Yeah, fair but enough. the 8-bit, mm -hmm. yeah, it has a full keyboard like the C64. Mm -hmm. So there's actually a game release that I want to play in the show that has no joystick support. You have to use the keyboard to move around. I was like, oh, oh wow. Okay. I want to play it on the show, but I don't want to sit on the floor in front of the system to need play it. need an extension it. cord and then... Um... A little, yeah, you need to use the little, um, uh, a little table, t desk, yeah, desk. yeah, couch desk. That yeah, I guess call I, I, the, I could string over the power. It's, yeah, I could do it, but yeah. other people have complained about it too. So hopefully, I'll add it in. <laughs> hopefully, yeah, looks like a fun game though. Um, and you're welcome for uh, uh, mentioning the AWA multi card. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a lot of fun for people. Um, every game is couch compliant when you have one of those pull-up coffee uh, tables to put your 2600 on. Mm -hmm. Yes, true. But I think everything wired in, so I only have to go click, 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 and go. take things out, put it in, click, click, really easy, mm -hmm. rather than all these cables hanging around. It's just the way we do it. Um, now on to Jaguar news. Big PEMU adds Atari Jaguar VR support. Mm -hmm. What? VR? VR support. Here we go. Check this out. Uh, let me just fast forward to actually when it's. So there was a VR headset planned for the Jaguar. What? Um, from the Wikipedia, it says a virtual reality headset compatible with the console, tentatively titled Jaguar VR, was unveiled by Atari at the 1995 Winter Consumer Electronics Show. Uh, the development of the peripheral was, in, was response to Nintendo's virtual reality console, the Virtual Boy, mm. which had been announced the previous year. Only one game was developed for the Jaguar VR prototype, a 3D rendered version of the 1980 arcade game Missile Command, which you can see here. Nice. Titled Missile Command 3D and a demo of virtual, Virtuality Zone Hunter was created. Hm. Um, so they've added VR support to the system and uh, Bob from uh, Retro RGB uh, says Rich Whitehouse has done, done himself this time. He reverse engineered the JAG VR head tracking protocol from the Missile Command games that originally had VR support planned. This isn't the first time Rich did something crazy. He was the person who reverse engineered the Sega VR protocol a few years ago as well. Um, uh, this is such a cool window into what might have been. And to keep it an accurate recreation, Rich has implemented the stereoscopic 3D effect via 30 hertz per eye, wow. as it would have been done in the 90s. And a lot of them did that, mm. um, to at, because uh, NTSC is 60 hertz, so they just divided up the frame. He mm. um, also showed the code used to do it, meaning games like Tempest 2000 could potentially be hacked with true 3D support as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. said vomiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> Rich shows uh, it being used with VR, I believe, an HTC Vive. Vive. It looks like an, a Vive to me. I was about so to say that. So it is, it it is usable right now That's if you crazy. have that um, headset. Headset, yeah. You can see him in the corner there. Wow. A very reactive because he's using it on a PC, mm. um, and the game looks pretty cool. That's that's really amazing. Um, Dan says, I played the actual VR Bissell Command when they had displayed in Vegas way back when. Wow. wow. That's cool. How, how was it, Dan? Yeah. What did you think of it? Um, was it as Gamma Dev says, vomit inducing? <laughs> was it vomit inducing <laughs> or awe inducing? Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. It's like having support for the mind link in Stella for the 2600. <laughs> it's like, why? <laughs> <laughs> But there's an act. There are actual Mindling games out. Yeah, yeah. The, I don't know if anybody's well made they... a third-party headset for the twenty six hundred mm. for the Mindlink. I don't think so. I mm. should look that up. That's interesting. Uh, time to go to our first game Yay. of the night. 
Unless anyone is in the mood to feed oh. some starving cats. This would be the time. This would be the time. Because um, I, wanted, I wanted, today I wanted to keep the cats a little hydrated because it's a little warmer today. Yeah. It has been in the past. And so I put a little bit of extra water in their in their uh, food. wet food yeah just a little bit because they just run it's the tap for a second time. Yum. <gasps> yum, it's yum, treat yum, time yum 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 yeah sprite story yep uh this is thank sprite you story. For... um so i put a little bit of uh you know water in both of their dishes and i put them on the ground for them to eat mm -hmm. put the scores up on the board reset to zero zero yeah i won't put it down yet keep talking and um Atari went right in. Mm -hmm. Sprite went to his bowl. Went no. Went over to Atari's, thinking, "Oh, he has better food. Yeah. He doesn't have this soup." Yeah. Um, and Atari's like, "No, you're not getting mine." <laughs> and and then Sprite went back to his bowl, looked at it again, and went meow, <laughs> and laid on the ground. And then Atari refused to eat. Refused to eat. Atari finished his food. Went over to Sprite's. Ate all of Sprite's too. <laughs> so Sprite didn't have lunch. Yeah. You're a very silly cat. So we're kind of curious to see if Sprite just destroyed. Look at him meowing. Shut Destroys. Up. Here, you take those. Destroys. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> he runs out of the hallway. All the time. Okay, cats. All right, are we ready? We'll see. Is, is Sprite hungry enough to win? Are you ready? No. Oh, Atari's Atari. off to a great start with one point. Sprite is stunned by that opening volley. Oh, <laughs> big ding from Sprite. Caught in the air. Oh, Atari's oh, on Atari's it. Atari's on it. Wow. He's well fed today. Oh, He's ready goodness. to go. He wanted dessert. Oh, Sprite is tied it up. 2-2. Two, two. Atari's Whoa. being very strong and very oh. accurate with his rings. Yeah. Oh, uh, Sprite going over to Atari's. Sprite's following up right behind, so yeah. Atari's needs to. Oh, oh no! Sprite, <laughs> Sprite now is jumping ahead. Oh, Atari! Now Atari's These following guys. behind. Let's see. Sprite's circling the bell. He's thinking about it, and oh. he dings it. Sprite is up five four. Atari's going back to the bell. Oh, another strong ring for Atari. <laughs> It's in, my, it's in my shoe. Oh, I was wondering where it was. Yeah. Come on, Atari, you can do this. Oh, Sprite get, pulls ahead 6 5. <laughs> Broadcastler has money on this. <laughs> yeah. On who, though? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Atari ties it They're up. They're catching six, him six. in the air. Oh, oh, some weak rings. Oh, my oh, goodness. And Sprite gets it 7 6. Very weak rings, though. On Atari. Yep. Oh, Atari. Oh, he's well fed today. 7-7, seven, seven, but Sprite is still in the... Oh, a little harder. Oh, oh, oh. oh Who Sprite. got that? Sprite. He did? Yeah, 8-7. Ring your bell. Ring your bell, I Atari. Thought, I thought Atari hit nope, it. No, he did not. Okay. Well, maybe he did. He looks expectant. Better give it to him. Oh, oh. you didn't give it to him. A little, little closer. No, you said he didn't hit it. Oh my goodness! Oh, and Sprite oh wins. Oh my goodness! Ten eight. There was a bit of confusion. Yes, here. Bit of confusion. Extras. Atari did very well. Sorry, though. Rod Castler. Maybe next round. Yeah, maybe next round. Atari usually does better second round. He, get, he needs Atari. a little bit of time to warm up. He picked one and ran off at it. Well, that's a smart... I call it a tie. <laughs> I call it a tie. The game's rigged. Yeah. It is. We need some instant replay on mm. that. So Sprite was hungry for it. He was. He hungry was for hungry it. for it. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at our first Yay. game. If you want to grab the first uh, left-hand joystick, <laughs> it's called Bob and the Alien Fireflies. This one. Yep, and I first uh, ran across this post on Facebook, and then, and then uh, it was linked to the Itch.io page. Oh. Um, but then eventually did post it in the Atari Age forums. Excellent. Um, to start, oh, let's switch over. I did not see the uh, see Atari. Oh, ring the bell. well then Sprite definitely ran yeah. a one then. Yeah. By even more. To start, push your Atari 2600 select switch. So load it up, so we can get to it. The Bob, right? Yep. Uh, bottom one. So there's options for one player, 
two players and fireflies. Wow, nice sound. I like it. Sounds like fireflies. It does. Um, the Ben Tentacled Hedgehog Octopus Origin Story. Nice. Um, so I'll get you playing. So you have to get the green dots, but move between the openings to get there. Oh my goodness. Okay. You get used to it. You only get one life. So it starts at zero again. There you go. Oh my goodness. Got one this time. Bob, a curious little hedgehog, has stumbled upon a small moonlit glade. Within it, he's found some of the most delicious little glowing alien bugs he has ever tasted. Help Bob eat his fill of these out-of-this-world treats. But take care to avoid the sweeping teleport beams and be careful not to let those bugs stay red for too long. Oh, oh yeah, no, that was go not go there. Idea. That's dangerous. <laughs> Let's try that. Bob and the Alien Fireflies is my very first game ever for any platform anywhere. The inspiration for the game's main character came from a pancake I made once. <laughs> what? Uh, it really did look like a hedgehog with tentacles. The game was written entirely in Batari Basic featuring three different game over variations, game over animations, and two hedgehogs. Yes, that's right. You can play alone as Bob or play in two-player mode with a friend and control both Bob and Hog uh, as they battle to be the first to eat 20 fireflies. Oh, five. Maybe top score. Nope. Nope. Later. Later. You okay? Um, the game serves as Bob... Oh, first to eat 20. In two-player mode, it's first to 20. The game serves as Bob's origin story as the first game in what I hope will become a small series. If you'd like to learn more about Batari Basic, you can write your own games for the Atari 2600. You should check out my Batari Basic videos. So the author of this uh, game also does a videos on how to make Batari Basic games. And I think he's got like four or five videos out on his YouTube channel. Um, I did. It's very sensitive. You don't have to get very far from it for it to trigger. This is reminiscent of some of the mini games of Sword Quest. True, true, true. Some of those mini games in Sword Quest are brutal, brutal, and you can wrap around top to bottom can as you? well. Not necessarily useful or helpful in the game, but it's just something you can do. Um, and I don't know what happens when they turn red, but I know you don't get any more points for red, yellow, or green. Uh, few know it, but aliens have been visiting us for centuries. Usually we see no sign of their passage. Being far ahead of us in their understanding of space, time, and the universe, they can come and go right beneath our noses. We know nothing of it. Well, that is an, an, less a new recruit named D4Q1. You're dead when you hit the red one. Because oh. I didn't hit the wall, so if it goes red, then you're done. 13 is 13. pretty good. Get in there. Get in there. Okay. My this turn. It's not good for my stress. Where am I reading from? Uh, that paragraph. It happened a couple years ago. D4Q1 and his partner S3E3 were surveying a tiny wooded area on a very small piece of earth on a small island in Western Europe. Very specific. Very small. <laughs> uh, D4Q1 being the klutz he is let a jar of alien fireflies, much like the small glow worms found on earth but with biomutational properties, fall and break. The little critters were gone in a flash, illuminating a quiet secluded glade. Standard procedure for a screw-up like this is to cordon off the perimeter with virtual left-right blocker shields and top-down wrap-around teleportation technology. Oh, yeah. Finally, at least two teleport sweepers with access holes are set up to catch any rampant es in escapees. And then the team get the heck out of there hoping that nobody finds their blunder. Oh my God. It would seem, however, uh, that whoever came up with this procedure didn't account for the voracious nature of Earth's little irinaceous Europe. Europeus, Europeus. Oh God, no, oh, why did I do God that? I love the Latin. <laughs> uh, just the other night, Bob, a small and slightly less stupid than most prickly hedgehogs, <laughs> came up, uh, came upon the glade that D4Q1 had contaminated. A wondrous glade Bob had never seen before, filled with the most delicious so glowing cute. flyy things he had ever laid his little hedgehoggy eyes upon. These tasty looking m morals, I think morsels is what morals. they were. Morals. Uh, could be morale, morels, morale mushrooms. Oh, could uh, be, yeah. Glowed a shimmering green, then turned a bright yellow before changing to vibrant red and exploding afterwards. 
Bob didn't know anything about this, though. He had usually gobbled them up long before they had the chance to change to yellow. Mm. It is your job to help Bob in his quest to eat as many of these little glowing buggers as he can. All you need is a joystick plugged into the left joy port of your Atari 2600 system. Use the select switch to choose one for a player one game where you play as Bob, or you can choose two for a head-to-head -head battle between Bob and his buddy, buddy hog. <laughs> Last to eat 20 fireflies is a little B. Um, take control of Hog using a joy point, a joystick plugged into the right joy port. Uh, In the one player game, gobble oh up God. as many fireflies as you can before they explode. If not, the loud bang will scare Bob, making him run for cover and able to find the glade again, meaning game over. And don't forget about the teleportation sweepers that move from left to right and back again. If not, you'll be teleported to the alien planet along with those little gl growing cl critters where you'll be sorted and sent back to Earth far from the magical Firefly Glade, which means no more bugs for you, so game over. No more bugs for you. Each Firefly is worth one point. How many can you get? It has been said that a hedgehog who eats upwards of 20 Fireflies will mutate in strange, tentacly ways. Mm. The two-player game is a little different in that your the first hedgehog to eat 20 flies wins. If your hedgehog touches the teleportation beam, they're teleported to the alien planet for about five seconds before being sorted, oh found not to be a firefly, and sent back. On their return, your hedgehog will flash for about two seconds. During this time, they are invincible, um, but then they can't eat any fireflies during those two seconds, too. Very well, nice, by Caesar. I that instruction. Awesome. About teleporting in two seconds and invincible. Oh, that's just if you're playing the two player. You'll oh. be you'll flash for two seconds. You can't collect fireflies, but you're invincible, so you can't immediately die. There's a big random element to this game. Yep. That makes it very difficult. Oh, you're at thirty. Oh my goodness. Did anything happen at twenty? No. Oh. <laughs> I think that's only in two player. No, that was one player. Oh, nothing happened that I saw. Oof, look at you go. Can't let it get red. Ooh, so will it explode or once it's red you're done? You're like, just dead. You're just dead. Just dead. Mm. Automatically. It goes orange. Nostalgic likes the background story. I do too. <laughs> I like any creative ah! creative embellishment. Thirty nine. That's good. That's good. You want one more or you wanna do two player? You do another one. Oh no, yeah, no, let's no, do I'm two not player. Gonna, let's I'm do not gonna two, do two player. You'll by the looks of it you'll probably beat me, but that's okay. Plugging in joysticks while it's on, just in case. Even though I always told, run into problems when we do that. Even though I've been told it's fine. We lost both our cats. Yeah, they're like we got fed. Yeah, we got fed. We're done. You can load it up again, please. And we'll try two player and see how that works out. Which it should be easier in the fact that we have double the chance. Where's my glass of water? I don't know. What I wonder if I'm so thirsty. Okay, Gonna get some water? More game. Oh, All I right. will play. Filled it up and then I bring it up. What is going on? I have no control. That is very odd. James, there's a problem. What? Oh, it's there. Sorry. I thought it was uh, couch compliant. My no, bad. It's not. <laughs> not couch compliant. Does Select. Not yeah, get, thank you, Dan Kamachev. Does, does not get the sticker of approval. We're going to play two players now that I'm back. Okay, I'm yellow. Yeah, I'm orange. Oh no! I died. Do I you come get back? Two, yeah, you do. Okay. You'll flash and come back. Oh, but you get to have all the yummies while I'm away. Not necessarily. <laughs> Some of the yummies while I'm away. No, it's mine. Mine. No. No. <laughs> now I'm dead. Oh, why am I over there? That's not useful whatsoever. <laughs> no. Very deadly, in fact.
Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, no, you're ahead of me. Oh. I'm not sure who got that. Oh, you got 20. 20 to 13. Hog, Hog wins. wins. Your... I have money on this too. <laughs> Rod Castler, it's not your, it's not your day. <laughs> yeah, you don't win as much if you bet on me, but um, it's more of a guarantee though. <gasps> That's very true. <laughs> Historically oh. speaking. Yeah, don't bet on me this time. Oh, <laughs> come on, pick it up. Mm. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick no. it up. No! Oh, 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 it's not going to end well. It's not going to end well. Yum, 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 not going to end well. Yum, 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 yum. yum. They're all yum, on your yum, side. Yum. That's completely unfair. Oh, I died. Wouldn't be back on my side. Oh, no, I died. Oh, you can't pick it up while you're um, flashing. Oh, it was cornered. Oh, you're invincible, but you can't pick them up. Interesting. Mm, no, I'm going to die. Oh. <laughs> Squish to you. Smoosh. Who smooshes? Do they stay green when it's a two-player? Oh, I think they do. Oh. No, 18 no. to four. Oh, smooshed again. No, 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 no. No, I'm staying here. You go, go, go ahead. Oh, that was 20. a terrible round. Kind of like what tree time would be if it was a oh, 26 yes. century game. That's 100%. True. Just switch those out with 100%. kitties. 100%. Okay, let's do it again. For higher difficulty in two-player, allow players to push each other. Oh, bump, oh. bump, 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 bump. Yeah, that would be good. Could push them into the barriers. Ooh. Boing, boing, yeah. That's a nice addition. That would be mean. Yes, yeah. very mean. Okay, let's do it. Who am I? Um, the orange guy. Ah. Screw you! No! No! <laughs> Eating me. No. Ah. Oh, I got it, but I also died. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it to me! <laughs> Not when you're flashing. Risky move by me. Oh, it's gonna... oh just barely. Oh, you're ahead of me. Mm -hmm. Just by a couple. No, no, no. Ooh, oh, side up. Why? Why? 17, no. 18, 9, no, no. 19. No! <laughs> One more. It's getting better. One more. Ah! Uh. Oh, 18. Ooh, who will get it? Who will get it? Oh, 20. Uh, uh, wrap around becomes more useful. Yeah, a little bit. You can't wrap left to right, though. Okay, one more. You're getting better. Ready? Oh, my God. Death immediately. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, I got it. Just nope, right. I don't think you did. No? Yeah, no, I did. you did. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This <laughs> Squishy is not... for you. Squish. Oh. No. Oh, oh we both. Ah, simultaneous death. Who's who? He's orange. Oh no, this is not good. Oh, oh god. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Smooshed. Oh no. I was invincible. Took the Entirely risk. Entirely unfair. Yes, the wraparound does make a difference because you can go what? directly to it. Oh, I get confused with who's who. Yeah, the colors are very similar. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. I'm going to die. I got it. That was not worth the risk. Ah! Oh! Confuses me. 18. Oh. Ah! Oh, a chance for you to get ahead. 19. Oh. One more. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Got it. 
20. Moving fireflies. Yeah, that oh, would make it that would be even good. more challenging running around. Yep, pushing. Uh, like one bumps. Bang, 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 yeah. Like like bumper cars. I don't know what the rules would be. Like they both bump off each other. Oh, maybe. <sighs> with the same like, with the same with the momentum. same amount, like yeah. accidental. So it would be like yeah. chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that would be fair. That would because be fun. how would you judge who's bumping who? Yeah. Really, unless you get somebody from behind, you could bump, <laughs> yeah. and then only one person would get bumped. But if you're both facing the same direction or going the same direction. But I like the moving fireflies. There's nothing that preventing them from adding moving firefly. Mm. Yeah, you could do joust rules, but they are walking on the floor. Like the mm. person above, but then it would always bounce down, no matter what. It would always bounce down if mm. you do joust, joust rules. I think even bumping. Yeah. Because if, if the barrier is here, one person's here, one person's here, bump would bump that person into the barrier. Mm. So you'd want to avoid being bumped if you're near a barrier. Ooh, that would be good. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the, um, I mean, this is a finished version that the person um, posted. So I don't know if they're wanting to put any it more into it. It doesn't need more into, into it because it's pretty fun it's, on its own. It is pretty fun, but those things sound, yeah. those additions sound fun. Mm -hmm. And then there's one more, one more option. Mm. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, fireflies. Yeah, so maybe these guys move. I don't know. Oh, I'm guessing this is a one player. Oh, press it. Oh, what? Maybe that's just the title screen? Oh, okay, it goes back to the title screen. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh, fireflies another, option. Another version? Very cool. Very, Very cool. cute game. Yeah. I do like okay. it, especially the two players. Yes. One player is challenging, though. You do have to. Yeah, yeah. You move have to get quick. used to it and and get used to passing through the barriers and timing it right. So. Yep. Yeah, that's a good time. Um. So the next game we're going to be playing is by Jab Alberto, mm -hmm. who makes a lot of games that are strategy games. Okay. Single screen kind of strategy games. He's done. Um, Battleship, uh, memory game, roulette, scissors, rock, paper, card game, words game, um, and this one is called Caesar. Mm. Let's load that up. This is a strategy um, battle type game. So let's flip it out. Flip it out. Nice. Got your Roman centurion or whatever they're yeah, called. I, I made yeah. that. <laughs> Just because he doesn't have a graphic for it. Uh, hi, Caesar is a simulation game set in ancient Rome. You have a total of 64 troops um, to use uh, in nine battles to conquer the cities highlighted on the map. So there's nine cities there. Okay. And you want to conquer as many as possible. Uh, you have the blue troops and the computer has the red. So you're on the right. Okay. The computer's on the left. At the beginning of each battle, the score of the city is displayed using Roman numerals 3, 4, or 5. Okay. And press a button, and you can see that's a 3. Okay. Um, uh, wait, and don't do anything yet. Don't press a button. I just pressed it once, but... <laughs> Stop pressing. No, I pushed and held it, so... Oh, okay. You didn't tell me to lick up. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, for each battle... Uh, oh, the score of the city is displayed. So you can see now the in yellow it's highlighted. That's yep. the city you're fighting for. Okay. And that's its score. Do you choose I think. the city or um, no? It's random. You you just yeah okay. Um, for each battle you can set from a minimum of one to a maximum of nine troops. Mm -hmm. So you can see they've selected seven, seven troops yeah. using the joystick up and down. So you can do that right now. So you go up to nine. Um, I don't press don't do it. But by pressing the fire. The battle begins and you will see the progress. Okay. The simulation of the battle is carried out by the computer in successive steps in which each of three dice are rolled for each team and the scores are compared using risk rules. Okay. I'm not sure what they are because I haven't played risk in a billion years. Me neither. Yeah. Um, but let's just say they roll dice, the results, either you lose, they lose. You win, you lose. Certain you number tie. of troops. Okay. Each. I can't remember Risk. Jeez, I haven't yeah. played Risk in a long time. It's because it's a really long game. I liked that game, though. I played it a lot yeah. when I was a kid. But yeah. After the second step, a flashing sword will indicate the, mo the moment 
you have the possibility to add troops using the joystick up and down from a total of 15 that you have available only for reinforcements. Then press fire to continue the battle, and then it does it again, and the battle goes to zero troops left. Um, when the battle is over, an eagle will be displayed, and the battle score will be given by the city score, which is three, and the number of troops left from the battle. So if you have lots of troops, you'll get more score. Gotcha. And a special bonus, depending on how many troops conquered the city, will be awarded to the first one who con conquers three territories okay. in the same row or column. So you also... So it's, it's tic-tac-toe as well. <laughs> it incorporates tic-tac-toe at gotcha. the same time. So you get okay. bonuses. Okay. So if you're losing or you don't really want a city, say it's a low number, it's only worth three, maybe you don't want to waste your troops on that because it doesn't give you a row. We'll see. At the end of the bat, nine battles, whoever has the highest score will be the winner. Okay. Them's the rules. Okay. So now you pick... How many troops you want to send I've into already battle? I picked my troops. I'm going to so try to be in excess of the eight other Eight to team. seven. So you press the button and it fight. Oh, they've lost a bunch. Oh, you lost one. They're down to three. Down to one. Battle's not over. They've reinforced with six more. They're back <gasps> oh. up to seven. And you still have, you have seven now. So you can add an eighth if you want. Or you can leave it at seven. But I would go eight. And you bet. Oh, good. Oh, good. You haven't lost one yet. Down to one dead Destroyed. and it goes blue Ooh. you've conquered that city nice so you got a total of 11 because it added three to but eight. i can't pick cities okay no it's a random city nostalgic says it's a pretty cool concept i thought so too he posted this today and i'm like oh i gotta play this today because i didn't have this in our original <gasps> um uh oh you're down in the original um game list but he posted this today. I'm like, this is such a cool concept. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh decimated. <gasps> Almost literally oh, decimated. Oh, no. So he won that city. No, you're good. And he's going all out. He's going nine for this. <gasps> oh, no. No. Oh. Oh. <gasps> he reinforced. No. Oh, Ooh, no. Oh, no. no. Oh, brutal. So you can see at the top, they have 40, 35, yeah. plus how many they put out. You have 40 total. I mean, you're always going to pick to ha start with more troops than they do. Mm. But now I'm dying. I'm losing them all. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> but these are random dice rolls. They are. Okay. They are random dice rolls. So I'm you have two cities along the bottom, which is good. You'll get a bonus if... If you get three in a row. If, if three in a row. And if you get that top right, you also have a good advantage. Can you add troops at any time? There's no. Not no! At, not at any time. Only, no! Only, only during the second round. So they got that. <sighs> so they just need uh, the top left and they can get a bonus. Nice. Nice. Oh, lost one. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. So now you can... Oh, this one's important. This, you get I a gotta bonus. win this one. Because the score is now right now 31 to 26. You're not far behind. Yeah, I would just throw everything you've got at this one. No. Oh. No. Oh. How? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Good comeback. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, got to win this one, too. You're just... Oh, I'm up. running out. Oh, I'm running out of troops. Is that all you have left? That's all I have left. There's two cities left. Oh, this one's important for them. Well, I've got one bonus. Ooh. Oh. 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 No. Oh, no. They're destroying you. One more. Oh, you. they always leave you with one for the last. Okay. But that's okay. I mean... It's probably how many cities are left. That's how many you have to have left. There might be cases in which you would willingly yeah, lose a city. I, I get that now. So it's it's about you know positioning yourself so you get the most bonus. Because there's low scoring cities that and high scoring cities. Well, and there's you, three to five. Oh, those are the scores. 
Oops. that you get added. Uh, it's not much of a variance. Okay, I get it. I get it. So, so now I now I see the strategy in it. Okay. So what are the scores from three to three to five? Three to five. So this is a middle of the road score. Right. Gotcha. But I mean, obviously, you want the center. So if the center comes center's up, center's huge. Who cares about the score because the center will give you one, more two, chance three, of getting four. a bonus. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. So this one, this one's pretty good. I won't. I'll just match him. Yeah. See it's where kind of middle goes. of the road. It's a corner. It makes more sense. I get it. Which now. you can make three. I lost. And, oh, you can, uh, you can still. Like, I could just fight with one troop. <laughs> if you don't care. Um, if you want to keep troops. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Dead. Oh, I don't really want this either. Well, just match him. I'll match him. Match him, then it's kind of an even fight, right? So. Eight to eight, yeah. You might win it. Oh, oh, it's looking very good. Yeah, very good. there you go. Nice. Yeah. Come on, How center square. Dice? Center square. <laughs> that's that's a good one to get to. Uh, yeah, and it, I'll go one more than that. Yeah. Oh no! No! <gasps> no! Add. Oh, we Peace. went way up. Okay, I'm going all out. Yes. Mm. No. How? It's random. <gasps> no. No. Oh no! All no! those troops. No. Oh, those troops. Okay, I need. You this. should try. You should yeah try to win that one. Of course, they want this as well. Mm, not as much. It's only a score of three. Mm, true. Oh, they're adding a bit. Come on. No! No! I just killed three of them. No! <laughs> no! Oh, oh. oh, come on. Yes! Get him! Yes! Yes! Come on! Yep. One more! Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Now I have a chance on the... Ooh, get that one. Because that'll block two of them. And it's five, so it's the highest score, too. That'll block two of his. Yeah. I want this one. This one's big scoring. It'll oh, block Oh, no, him. no! Oh, okay, add, add. Oh, they really want it. So do I. No. No! No, no all the troops. No. Oh, come on. There's no chance. No chance. Lost too many already. Mm. Oh, they got it. Oh no! Oh now, yeah, everyone's all in on the center square. Well, I only have a, ch I have one chance to go down. That's the only mm. chance to get anything. Or to the right, but. But I might. I should block him too. I would not worry about the other two. I would. I would try to get this one. And the bottom. Middle. And then the top right. Top right, bottom middle. Yeah. No. I hate it when you lose oh. right off the bat. Oh, you're down. Oh God. <sighs> No. Oh, oh, come on! You're not getting any any dice rolls in your favor right now. No, I'm, I have one chance left. <sighs> no, don't even bother. Skip it. He's gonna. Yeah. Just, just put two. Put two. There you go. <laughs> just put two. And gone. Waste of two. There. I can't catch up. I'm gonna do it anyway. But I have to use my troops. How come he's? No. Did the lights just dim? A little bit. Oh. Uh, yeah, destroyed. <laughs> oh. Lost worse than you. Did the lights dim? Just went blue. Okay. I think it went back up. Now, now you win one. Yay. He doesn't kill me as much as he could have. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Go again. So does this start? It starts over every time. It doesn't kill Yeah. Me. Starts from scratch. Okay. Very good graphics. Mm -hmm. Excellent graphics. Like the the rip in the um, scroll at the bottom and the and the the wrap around at the top of the scroll. The use of triplicates in the middle. Oh, it's down to the wire. No. Oh. oh. <gasps> Just did it. Wow. I wasn't oh, expecting that. That was a lot of troops. Given up on both sides, so. No. Mm. No, dead. That's okay. I think either you fight or just don't fight at all. Because giving only a tiny bit of troops, True. you're going to lose them. Right? You're just going to lose them. I want this one. Come on! I lose right off the 
about every single time. I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> when I played it earlier today, I won. Did you? Yeah. Uh, you jinxed it. Well, you got that. It's good. Ooh, he really needs that one. Hmm. Be, well, doesn't really need it. But. We'll go evens. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Get him. Get him. Nice. So you only throw in a couple more in. Nice. Do yeah. It. Get him. Yeah. Excellent. Ooh, very good. Center square. Center square. Oh, it is the center square. <gasps> this is going to be a good one. Throw everything you've got at it. He's it's not even three. fighting for it. It's only it. a score of three, though. It's not a high score. So get score. it in the bonus. Way up. All the way up. All the way up. <gasps> no. Oh, no. Oh, Get him. oh, so lucky. Yeah. Huge bonus. Oh, 32. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. You Still want this three one. again. You want this one. Should I even or just one more? Just go all out. Ugh, I don't want to lose too many troops, though. See? Right off the bat. Oh. It always takes it off. Right off. Oh, no. More. <sighs> more. No. Ugh. Even oh. no! <laughs> no! That was brutal. Oh no. Oh, no, you want no this. I want that one. You want everything that's left. Still beating him. No! Right off the bat! Right off the bat! <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's all you have left. Oh that's no. That's all I have left. Oh no. No. Come on, dice rolls. He's not getting bonuses. He's but not getting any bonuses. I need these points. Actually, I can't win. It's the last. I can't turn. win with three points. I can't win. So it all comes down to bonuses. Oops. Yeah, it does come down to bonuses. Anyway, so it's, it's even. even. Oh come on! Oh, he's got some reserves. Got oh none. no! Oh. Oh. oh no! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <gasps> did it! Wow. I oh it's oh it's a tie. tie. <sighs> nice. I think we've lost everyone in the chat. Right now. <laughs> They're just intense. They're that watching. was very exciting. Rod Castler stopped um, betting on me, so. Yes, yeah, right. Okay, can do one more. Uh, I don't care about this one. I'm gonna play strategically, and just let him have some. Okay. I am five. Going... Five high points. High points. Um, How did he get ten? Because he won? Yep. I don't know. How did he get 10? Hmm, that's a big score. Destroyed. Oh, does it... Oh, maybe you get 14. more if you win in the first round. It's how many troops you have left? Oh, plus the oh, score. Oh, so that's huge if you don't throw any against him. Yeah, you just gave him a lot of points. Damn it. Yeah. But, but you lose all those troops, though. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. So you should throw some at it? you got to throw some at it. You're going to lose them, though. You want them to lose some troops. Yeah. Oh, do I want that one? I kind of do. It's only a three. I don't know. It's hard to know what to do. Oh, my God. Now I'm going for it. Lucky. Get! Stop it! Yes! Why is it so slow sometimes? No, come on! There's a oh. lot of factors to consider with each city, yeah. There is. But it's not unfair because no. it's the same for everyone. Same for him as, as it is me. Ooh, a four, and I need this one would be a very good. Because it can complete two rows. More. Oh, he's throwing a lot in there. I'm going for nine. Get him. No! Stop it! No! Oh, there's a chance. Oh, oh my god. I don't know how you did that. Good I job. don't know either. Pure chance. This. Center square. Oh, center square. All the or nine. The oh, no! <gasps> no! Get him! No! Bad dice! Bad oh, no, you're dice. down to nothing. How are you down to nothing? Troops? Do you only get so many troops per city? You're only allowed to put in so many. Gotcha. Oh, oh yes. 
Oh. Stop it. Oh. Oh, trouncing it. Nice. Destruction. Oh, yes. It's okay. a five. That's that's a good one to get. I've got lots of troops left because he's been losing so many. Mm -hmm. So I should just keep throwing them at it. Well, at this point, yeah. Oh, but now, oh. now you're losing. Oh, oh, no, I have none left. Whoa, that just took off three of his. And one, mm -hmm. oh, wow. Wow. You're getting some winning throws. 46. Nice. Oof. He's only got 14 troops plus on the board. Just e just equal. Equal him. Plus one. <laughs> yes. More. Oh, I can't add anymore. Oh, no. 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 I don't think you can catch up, though. No. I don't know. No. Oh, we got quite a bit from that. He but... can't make a row. Ooh, this doesn't make a row for me. Unless I get the last one as well. You have 13 left, so... I always feel like... I yeah, just, just go one... It. one. No, go one below him. So you have below. enough left for the last one. Because okay. he can't make a row with it. Well, you could make a row with all of them, but you're low in troops. Yeah. I am. See Ooh, if you get lucky. Wow! I got lucky. Fair lucky. No, stop it! No! Oh, come on. Oh, it's even now. No! <gasps> no! Oh, I destroyed his troops, though. Well, it's all in. Even troops. No. 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 <gasps> oh! Oh, he's still lost. You won. Yay! Yay! Good job. That was Interesting fun. game. Yeah, that was fun. I liked it. I'm sure there's a lot of strategy we're missing. Probably. Probably. But we're slowly catching on. Yeah. Really, really cool game. Um, I like games like this. Mm. Where it's like, it's not apparent immediately what you should do. Mm -hmm. And there's no unfairness. And it is a lot of chance here. Mm. Yeah. Um, so the next game we're going to be playing is by Alberto as well. Jab, it's called Domino, and it is Domino's. Um, first posted June 15th. Says, hi, this is my version of Domino game. Each player, ha you play against a computer, still a single mm -hmm. uh, player game, has seven tiles chosen at random by pressing the fire button during setup. So let's get to that. Okay, domino, game over right away. Um, okay, press a button. Okay, so it's rolling the dominoes. <laughs> so press a button to pick your dominoes. Five, four. Okay. And press it again. So you get to pick seven. So that's a one and a four. Five and a six. Two and a one. Two and a six. Two and a blank. Five, zero. Okay, you've chosen seven. Uh, at the top will be the display, will be displayer two number on the left. Mm, what? At top will be displayer two number on left and right that are two numbers that you can use to attach to your tile. Mm. Oh, one and a two. Okay. Um, on your turn, tile will be displayed on the left. Mm. One and a four. You can select one of your tiles using joystick left or right. And it's like red, green, or yellow. Okay, for for playing your selected tile, the top must a top number must be equal to the upper left number. Green mm. bar indicates correct move, and you can press a fire. If a yellow bar appears, you can use joystick up to swap upper left right number or joystick down to swap. Oh, I see. So go to the a yellow one. Oh, I see. So go to the yellow and press up or down, and it flips it. Because it does match. There we go. Okay. Um, if the tile can't be attached, a red bar will be displayed. If no tiles can be played, then you can press fire, and any of your tiles then the turn goes to the CPU. Hmm. The game will end when a player ends his tiles or when no player can move. Each player takes the points of the opponent's remaining tiles. Yes. For example, the tile 6-6 six, six gives 12 points. Whoever reaches 64 points first wins. So you want to get rid of your high... Numbered tiles. tiles. Okay. 
On the bottom left is your score and the remaining tiles. Well, tiles. On the right is CPU tiles and score. The big bar indicates if the last move of the player was good or bad. <laughs> By the bars, okay. So yeah, that's a good play because you want to get rid of a six. How do you up there him? Yeah. That's a one. That's not great. That's all you can play. Two and a nothing. All you've got, and they're playing against a one, and they played a six. You've got a nothing. Ooh, nothing and a one. Oh, six and a six. Oh, no. That's a great play by them. I'm Do you in have trouble. a one? Ooh. Nope. Oh, why is that yellow? Go back, then press up. Oh. Then you go to the other one. There you go. Six and a five, a good play. So you got those two to choose from, a blank and a one. Yeah, I You're down no to play. nothing, so you pass. And they have a and six. Have a, uh, okay, so I lost. So they that got. Makes sense. So they got nine points. Kind of cool display. It's I like showing that. you which ones you're picking. I do yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So. So you can play either against a six or a two. Yeah. So you want to get rid of your sixes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. five and a six is good. You get rid of that. Is this forcing you attached to the last domino played your opponent or yes, previous it is. domino? It is. Or and and because there's two ends, right? So. So you're playing out. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it is keeping track. Yeah, it is. So I want to test that theory so you playing an so end of a five I, it would be a five and a one and then they're putting a one in a blank it flips it up to the top immediately yeah okay so i'm just gonna so yeah it is it is playing in a five i'd probably want to play so if i get lucky i can play my other five against that yep i can so i can play that five and a three but i also have a six, six. And a one. i think this the five and the three there's a yeah. six and a four though that's a Good one. I think I would play that. It's playing up Good, because I've got fives to get rid of. Um, five and a three. Five. Okay. And a one and a six. Play the one and six. What else do I have? Six and a one. Two and a two. Five and a three. Meh. Um, play the six. Get rid of the six right no, now. No, that's I've... seven. This is eight. Oh, the total. That's yeah. right. Okay. Well, oh, that actually now. worked for me. One and a six. That's good. My oh. two and the two can't go anywhere. That's a good one to end on. Yeah. So you only got two points, but. Well, it went to both. They got my four, and oh, okay. He got two, so. Or however it works, it doesn't yeah. matter. You just don't want to have. How many games do you play? Does it just go forever? Until you get sixty-five, right? Oh, 64. Sorry, yes, that's yeah. correct. Four and a two. Really good three implementation of the game. It's really good. I mean, you can't see all your tiles, but you can flip through them. Yeah. You can't see them all on the board, but that's fine. Because there's not really much room. Mm -hmm. So it does show you everything. That's really good. Excellent implementation of dominoes. Mm. Five and a six. Five and a six. I don't think I have any Ooh, numbers don't that have anything. high. Oh Ooh. no, you're gonna have to skip a turn. Five and a three. Okay. So six and a three. You've got a three. Three and a one. Three and, and a nothing. blank. And a one and a one. So we'll go with that then. Don't use the one. Boo. Um. Three and a six. Ugh, oh no. God. They know I don't have a six. Uh, I see guessing. the strategy of this. They're guessing though. I have one and two and blank. Mm. At least it's not much. Domino. Yep, yeah, very low. Yeah. Oh, you got some points. You're winning now. They must have not been able to do anything either. Yep. It's an exciting game, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, you passed! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Rewind. Okay. Oh no. 
Oh, that's a bad move. That's okay. Yeah. They think maybe they'd be... I don't think they're that smart. I think they are. That they're going to keep track of what you passed on? Maybe. If it's smart, it, it does know that, and then it would know to play dominoes that mm. are those numbers. I wonder if Alberto programmed that in. I don't know. It wouldn't, it wouldn't take much to keep track of... Actually, it would take one bite. Only one bite to keep track of that. Because there's eight bits in a byte, and it would just put zeros or ones, knowing when you would have or not have something. Or not know, and know you didn't have something because you passed. That would be very easy to program. Yeah. I'm strategically doing something here. There you go. Trying to mess him up. Yeah. You saw he passed on something. He did. It was on blanks. Yeah, he didn't. He doesn't have any blanks. Mm. So. But who knows now? Does he have a five here? Yeah. Five and a Oof. one. Blank and a one. Well, you could force it into the one and then hopefully get rid of the. Don't use my. Oh, oh yes. You, oh, it's a one still. Nice. I can Perfect. Still Get rid of that. Get rid of your six. Yep. He's left with a that. five and a yep. five. Good stuff. Very good. Careful. I'm not even... There's no point in looking at them because no, it's going to be random no anyway. Three, but just don't go over. Three and a four. Four. Got a lot of fours. Blank and a one. One and a three. Mm. Three and a five. Do I have any other fives? No. But what the three and a five will be. I don't have any sixes though. Mm. Yeah, let's see where that goes. Five and a blank. Okay. <clears throat> so we went. Uh, we saw Barbie. Yes, we did. Um, it was very funny. Very well written. Enjoyed Greta, it. Greta Gerwig, good writer, yep. good director. I know everyone's sick of Barbie. <laughs> yeah, sick of Barbie. Um, um, but it's a funny film. So if you want to see a funny film. Yeah. Enjoyed um, it very much. It, there's, there's singing in it. <laughs> Not, an, but it's funny singing, so I was very able to uh, manage it, tolerate it. Yeah, fair enough. There's dancing, but it's funny dancing, so I'm like, okay, okay, that's fine. I don't like dan dancing and singing movies usually. Um, costuming, the set deck was great. Um, the visuals were way over the top, crazy, which was fun. Acting was very good. Nice. Um, before that, we saw Guardians of the Galaxy 3, which was trash. Oh, we watched it on Netflix. Yeah. yeah. It was so boring. Um, it just had a bunch of fight scenes. Here's the thing. Fight scene in a different place. Move to a different place. Fight scene. Different place. Fight scene. And in between that was... Pull on your heartstrings with cute little animals. Yeah, those are the like two plot uh, lines. An ASPCA Fight. commercial. Yes, for two hours. Just, just crying and Sarah McLaughlin songs. <laughs> um, in between, just mindless action. Just mindless. action. Like what? Okay, what can Set we put action 70s, into? Set to seventies, eighties. But I want to say a lot music. of people came to me and said, "Oh, you'll cry. It's fantastic." So I got really excited, and I think my expectations were a little too high. I think that's what the oh. problem was. So for all of you who enjoyed it, I didn't think it was a terrible film, but I had a much higher expectation going into it based on what people told me. For an action film, it was fine. <laughs> James. I don't particularly enjoy action films unless there's something else to it. Unless it's Mad Max Fury Road, so yeah. Yeah, the, the acting is superb in that. <laughs> the, the, the visuals are just out of control in Mad Max. I know Mad Max is Beautiful good. film. And there's and the world is so rich and unexplained. It's just there for you to look at yeah. and figure out on your own. Um, yeah, Mad Max is another level. But this, um, yeah, I just did not enjoy it. I enjoyed the first one. I somewhat enjoyed the second one. I did not enjoy the third one. Just mm -hmm. a downhill trajectory of that, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And, you know, whenever things got a little boring, they would throw in an 80s song. Like, oh, uh, we got to throw in an 80s song, get people waking up again. 
slow motion in eighties or seventies, depending on uh, forty-two. Screwed. Oh, you're almost there. Getting screwed. What, what is it? To sixty-four. Not right now. Sixty-four. Not this round. Oof. Not doing so well this time. Oh, they passed. I passed not... twice already, so. Oh God. Well, they're passing, but oh, you have to pass no. two. If oh. both people pass, it ends. Oh no, I'm dying. I'm the 53. No, but that's that your hits points. 65. No. That's uh, your points. Yeah, but I don't want points. When it hits 65, I lose. I'm no, at no, 53. No, no. The points are given to you by how terrible they're doing. No, how? No, but you're not understanding. <laughs> like, like, that's their 53, not my 53. Are you sure? Yes, because it, it, I, I gave them a lot of points. Oh, I think that's no. what's happening. I'm not really sure. I haven't had that many no. good. The bottom left is your score. Oh. But are you? Is your score going up and you lose when it's too high? No, because you're getting points from their leftover pieces, and the higher their pieces are, okay. the more points. Okay. No, you but get. I thought I had the bad score. Oh no no no! Okay. You had the good score. I know. She doesn't understand. She's actually winning. No. She's no. doing very well. She's kicking ass. Kicking ass, kittens. Um. So yeah. Um, I would uh, recommend uh, Barbie. Oh, I liked it a lot. Yeah, yeah. I want to watch it again because there's so many little in Lots jokes little all yeah. the way through it. A little text on the screen oh. and things that you can miss. Um, I would give a um, hard pass. Mm -hmm. to Guardians of the Galaxy three. Have we watched any other films? Not, not lately. I'm watching a. Oh, he's doing this on purpose. Cult leader. Oh, how to be a cult leader. Series. Actually quite enjoying it. It's interesting. There's yeah. some cults I haven't heard of. I was surprised. I thought I knew all the cults. <laughs> Into the Spider-Verse. I do want to see that. Oh, I've heard that's excellent. Is it out on streaming? Yet? Yeah, and we haven't seen the first one either. Oh! oh I've heard time. Into the Spider-Verse is good, but the first Spider-Verse one. Party time for kittens. Cats, it's party time cats, for kittens. Cats, cats, cats. Cats, cats, cats. Oh, where's the other cat? Oh. The other cat's so upset. Not even party Look at the him. score now. Ooh, I oh, lost bad that time. This round will decide it. Hey! Just ring the bell. Here he is. Oh, he's in the room. <laughs> he's just lazy. Yeah. Oh, that's too much. There, don't make too much of a mess. Thank you to Nostalgic for the catnip. Oh, why are you just scratching it? You're just throwing it on the floor. No, 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 share. Yeah, we do need to watch the um, animated uh, Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Those look very, very interesting. And we still haven't seen them. No. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Gotta play the six. Ooh, six and six. Nice. Time for kitty uppers, yep. You get those Sprite's kitties not, all Sprite's excited. not going for it. He was just scratching at it, making a mess. Now he's just sitting there. Oh. I'll give you some. I'll wait till he's done. I'm going to give you some more. Here, here. Here. Sprite, want some? Okay, just a little bit, because you were just scratching at it. Here, here. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There we go, roly poly cat. Oh, he's rolling. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm he's an idiot. rolling. Oh, did you pass on something? Yeah, I should have put five and five first. Ah, that was bad. One and one, five and five, sixty-four. Ah. Uh, but it's still going. It's, I didn't hit sixty-five yet, so. It says, whoever reaches sixty-four points first wins. Oh. But they did. They did. Oh. Is this? Not Weird. Sure what happened. I thought it was 65 for some reason. No. Uh, maybe it just keeps playing. I'll play this last round. Okay. So, five and a five, six and a four, six and nothing, four and nothing, three and three, three and six. Six and a five. Oops. Ooh, five and a five. I think I'll do five and five. 
Yeah, it's pretty high. Different catnip brand? Uh, no, this is the same one. We do have a different one yeah, upstairs. Yeah, we did finally buy some uh, new catnip for them. Look at these kids. Five and a four. Ooh. Look at that black cat. He's all stretched lolling, out. Lolling stretched out on the floor there. There he is. Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, my goodness. You just want to squish that fluff. Oh, pot of the face. Oh, my goodness. You have to share. <laughs> this is a really good domino game. I'm, I, I'm quite enjoying it. Yep. Uh, five and a five. Don't have much choice. I have no choice. Just have to pass. Oh, he's got a five. At least got he changed one. it You've to got a one. one. Only got one one. That's... Oops. One and a zero. Oh, he has no, no oh, fives. You no, have a zero. No there blanks. There you go. Flip it around. Nice. He might have a six. He does. Oh, no. Oh, he didn't. What? what oh, did he? I don't, I don't know. know what happened there. I have uh, nothing. Uh, nothing in enough. Oh boy. <gasps> oh. oh no. 68, 74. I don't know. It's just keeping on going. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Now it's game over. Oh. So I guess you have to get over 64 and Did you we tied. Tie? You tied. Okay. Cool. Uh, really good domino game. Excellent. So both Lots of fun. Excellent, excellent games by Jab. Very good. Yes. Very nice. Um, so I would highly recommend those. Oh, oh might as well keep it on the couch. Okay, and it's time to play the last game of the night, uh, which is Alien Abduction, um, which is a new game for the VCS. We'll be playing it on the 2600, though, because I like these controllers mm -hmm. better. Um, so the announcement, it was it's very hard to find information about this game, but uh, the announcement was first made on... Um, Atari VCS Twitter mm -hmm. saying, want a surprise? How about a new game from the legendary creator of Activision's Hero? Wish granted. Welcome Alien Abduction, a new 2600 game exclusive to the Atari VCS. 20 levels, 140 play screens, 16 obstacle types. Nice. And that was on May 5th. Very pretty. Cats look they do. They, they get stoned. They are pretty soon. They're like, uh, but it doesn't last super long. It only lasts for like, um, Let's go back to Oh, Sprite is like fast asleep now. He's out. He's out. Wow. He's like really, really asleep. His <laughs> eyes are fully closed. I think he was sleeping over there. He was like stretching to play with the gray cat and just completely fell asleep. <laughs> He's so cute. And, you're such a um, cute kitty. Hi. Oh, are you awake? Oh. Oh, you're feeling a little stoned, eh? And the actual um, developer, John Van Ryzen, who developed hero right here originally for the 2600 um is on the atari age forums mm. and he responded to the thread about his game yes i am really john van risen <sighs> thanks for all the kind words it oh. is only digital exclusive to atari for a few months i do not think they have any interest in building cartridges of games made by former Activision employees <laughs> for whatever reason yeah mm -hmm. not sure what that means but <laughs> funny um, so we're going to play it. Nice. Um, we briefly looked at it when we were playing the Atari, we, when we the talked, VCS? when we talked to Atari about it. Gotcha. And they also said they don't have any immediate plans to put on cartridge either. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which I think it would do well because yeah. it's a good game made by somebody who made a good game e earlier. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. John Van Ryzen also made a cosmic commuter for the 2600. Uh, F-18 Hornet for the 7800, Hero, of course, for 2600, mm -hmm. Shuttle Intercept for the Atari 8-bit, and a bunch of NES, SNES, Apple II, C64, and Game Boy games so as games. well. Yes. So let's load it up. On the 2600. Uh, oh, forgot to put this out. There you go. Playing 2600 games. Mm -hmm. uh, let me switch over the cartridges. I'll switch it over so you can see it. There we go. Um, so, Hero was 8K. This is 16K. They both have the same number of levels, 20. Um, but I think this one has more... 20? More enemies? More variety of enemies? 
Um, so the instructions from the Atari VCS say the princess has been abducted by aliens. Oh, no. Always, of course. Princess is in another castle. Uh, yep. yep. As a Space Force hero, superhero, Space Force, you, Space Force you're going to rescue her. You're yeah. going to rescue her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, your spacesuit comes equipped with jet-powered flight boots, mm -hmm. an energy defense shield, and a plasma weapon. You must enter alien spacecraft and find the princess. Watch out for armed alien robot guards. I'm curious what tools John Van Ryzen used for alien abduction. That is interesting. Hmm. Did he use older tools or migrate to newer ones? Mm. I'm sure he's using newer ones, at least. You would think so. I would say a minimum, a text editor on a yeah. computer. Yeah, yeah. A nice text editor mm. and then just a compiler. Yeah. I would say at minimum. Um, I'm sure he's still using him. assembly yeah. because he would would have programmed an assembly back then. Mm -hmm. So go for it, load it up. I did buy this game. Ooh. I own this uh -huh. on the Atari VCS. You've seen it. I played it. So by holder tools, do you mean marijuana? <laughs> yeah. We're just all looking. So no at No complaints Sprite about me playing this on the stone. 2600. Yeah. I do yeah. own this game. Very nice. Um, Princess has been abducted. Be a hero and save her. Okay, so the controls are a little different. Okay. So it is still up to fly. Okay. Don't touch anything yet. Okay. This, this will, you'll take a little bit to get used to this. But you have to press down when you want to land. Okay. So that means if you press up to fly, you can keep flying downwards through the levels until you press down to land. Okay. Um, you have energy. Yeah. Which constantly goes down. Okay. Just like Kiro. But you also have health. That goes down when you touch things. Mm. You can see that red glowing yeah. kind of circular thing. That's health. So if you get that, your health goes up. There okay. are also yellow things that increase your energy, which is going down. Um, there are still dynamites, but you don't need to la um, lay them. They're just sitting there. You press down when you're over top of them to press a plunger. Um, button to shoot things. Kay. Some things can be shot. Some things can't. So it'll take a little getting used to the flying. Okay. It took me a little getting used to it. Oh my goodness, I can't. Remember you have to press down to land. I'm not trying to land, I'm trying to fly. Oh, okay. And then oh, you can I walk. see. Yeah. You nope. can't shoot that. Nope. So you want to go to the right. Almost out oh of energy. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, my you goodness. Get almost no energy in this game. Okay. You have to move. Oh my goodness. No! <laughs> you just kind of get stuck too. Yep. Oh my goodness. Remember, down to land. Oh my goodness. It, it, that's um, like lava walls. Now you have to duck down to shoot this guy. So you have to get up to him and duck down and shoot. And that gives you an extra life as the heart up there. Or you can just avoid them completely. Oh my goodness. But you have to go through that side to get to the princess. No! Oh, you're right. Because you want you want to go down. Yep. And then you stop going down because you're flying. Yeah, it does take a little bit of... Little getting used to. Princess, run! Run to the right! There you go. Very good. That is very cute. Yeah, the graphics are really good. Oh my goodness! Down oh to land. Goodness. Oh my goodness! He follows you. How do you... you... have to lead him away. He doesn't run quite as fast as you. And then go to the right. Get your energy. Be careful when going through a screen, because you don't know what's on the other That's side. That's very true. Still going. Still no, going. No, it's not going. I can't I can't oh. move once I'm flashing. I'm dead. Snake killed you. Yeah. Nice. Getting better. It, it is a little different. It's it's the, the down to land, if you are on the gray line, you, oh, you, can't you, land. You, you can't land. You have to be above it. Yeah. But you have to be slightly above it. Oh. 
That's terrible. You are still alive. I'm not alive. I can't move. No, now you can't. But you, while you were touching him, it was going down in health. You could have flown away. Yeah, but it, 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 you, you get kind of caught. Is there a difficulty setting to give you more energy and or health? No, there is no settings as far as I know. We're on the easy setting on BB. Um... I don't think they programmed in. I mean, John could have programmed in something for the 2600. Um, but on the VCS, there's no easy way to get at difficulty switches. Uh, so how do you do so this? So go over it and press down. Uh, no. Quick, kill quick. Me. No, you just did, ran out of energy. Oh, move away. Oh. Okay. There you go. Yeah, it is frustrating. <laughs> I will say. Oh. No. Yep. Oh really? my gosh. There's very little time. There's the like game. no, it's very unforgiving. <laughs> you probably went, hey, you think you're good at hero? Well, I'm going to ramp it up to <laughs> ramp it up to Make 10. Make it here. harder. It's cute. The advantage of not landing immediately is that um, oh. you can whip through the screens really fast. Definitely want to get the hearts because that gives you extra lives. Run away. Quick, get get the princess. Run. Oh, oh come on. Oh. Get up. Go up. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like you're fighting the controls rather than mastering them. It's just getting better. It, it takes a while. It's very different than it's what you're odd. what you're used to in any game I've ever played. the slime. Yay! Yay! Get in the hang of it. Yeah, slowly. What am I doing here? You're running as quickly as possible because you're running out of energy. Am I? Oh, no. No. Dead. No, what's going on? Go. Great! Welcome, Ooh. Renner Ghost! Ah! I don't like that. It's super cheap. It is cheap. Oh, you, you play now. Hey, Rendered Ghost! Welcome, guests of Hello. Rendered Ghost. Miss Nowhere. What are we playing? We are playing uh, Alien Abduction. Alien Abduction. A hero ish sequel? Uh, you tried to shoot her. <laughs> he tried to shoot the princess. I know. It's terrible. That's not right. I was, I was scared. <laughs> she is scary. She reminds me of Barbie. <laughs> scary Barbie. Scary Barbie. The scary Barbie. Weird Barbie. Weird Barbie is weird not Barbie. scary Barbie. Definitely, there are going to be a lot of weird Barbies this Halloween. That's all. Oh my God! Such an <laughs> easy such a great costume. costume. <laughs> it is a great costume. I like how you can deflect others' fire with your own fire. Can you? Oh, can oh, you? You are. I didn't even notice that. Thank you, That's Texter. a good. Um, good tip. Good. Very good tip. Ah. Got hit. Out of the other side. Rescue! I'll need all those lives. <laughs> Misnomer, Mad Doggy, Chalcedony Mao. Welcome, welcome. Rendered Ghost, thank you. Thank you for coming. When you got finished with your with your games. Oh, I need that. Get up! Oh, oh no! Well, you cheap! Got cheap. it from the other side. I didn't so think. So cheap. It triggers when you get. What are those? Gotta uh, go down. Dancing around. snakes. No, I don't think you can. You get can. It. Can you go down? Oh, you can. Oh my god. Yes, the game music's what amazing. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I 
I do like the um, characters, the sprites in there. The sprites are gorgeous. They're great. Yeah, good. Ooh, don't get smushed. Ooh. I, I thought it would get stay smushed. open, but it didn't. Go get it. Oh, uh. not the toxic slime. No. Job. Thank you. Kill those bad guys. This one is a lot more involved. Yeah, a lot more screens. Ooh, I think I can kill it. Can you kill the other one? I think I have to kill the other one. Hurry! Oof. Almost! Almost! Oh. oh! Just missed it! Good job. Using all my lives up. How much did the kernel reuse? Oh! Probably not much. Ooh, this is like level one again, but not really. Sort of. Oh my god. Oh Ooh, my god. Don't let those things kill you. This, there's no dark levels yet. <gasps> it's coming. You know it's coming. Good job. Help. <gasps> Just get that health. energy. Oh, more energy. Then you oh, have to go down and fly up. There you go. Good job. Woo! Oh. Got the princess. Need more hearts. Level eight. Oh no! <laughs> Why? <gasps> Cheap. It's my last life. Is it? Oh, uh, level eight. Oh, that was good. Can't, you can't pick the level in. No. Oh, I don't think so. Let me try the options because. Mm. No. 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 Nothing. Let me just see. Set it to A, A, black and white. Nope. A, B, black and white. Oh, screen jumped. Nope. 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 All the same. There's only one game. Okay. Let's Over try here. it again. Over here. Let's Come try it me. again. Oh, oh. my god. Damn it! <gasps> Up! Oh! I lost a life! I need all these lives! Arena Fitz says, looks like this should have been Hero 2 instead. Well. Well, he doesn't have the license for to make it Hero, so. Actual Hero. Yeah. That's owned by Activision. Was he one of the original developers of Hero? He, he made Hero. Oh. Well, there you go. He should have the rights to Hero. <laughs> well, that's not, you know, I know that's not how it works. It's not how it works. Just saying. Just saying, Just yeah. Saying. Did work for hire. <laughs> you got paid for hero. Yeah, that's very true. That was it. <laughs> Should I go above or below? Oh, or just get stuck. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Maybe above is better. Yep. Oh. Sort of. Sort of better? I yeah. didn't die. Oops. Oh, got hit anyway. What are those? They're like dancing green snakes. dancing dolphins. Are they cobras? cobras. They're probably meant to be That's cobras. That's what I think they are. They look like dancing dolphins to me. Dancing green dolphins. They do! Rather than green snakes. I think that's better than cobras. Okay. I think that's <laughs> slightly more sinister too. Dancing dolphins yeah. are more sinister than snakes? I don't snakes? know. They're pretty smart. I mean, cobras are just acting on instinct. Dolphins, Dolphins will, are smart. Are, would actively try to, you know, get away with stuff. So. <laughs> Dolphins are tricky. They're tricky. Health drops to zero. Um, you, things don't automatically kill you in this game. The, your health goes down rather than it's one shot death. Yeah. Which is gives you a little bit of time yeah, extra. Yeah, a little bit of leeway. Yeah. Hero was complete. Just death. Yeah. Instant death. You will die on certain things because they just take yeah. up too much life. Oh my Ooh, god. Oh, you could have gone straight through. Huh? Uh, yeah, that's true. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> you went through. Ah! 
Whatever that is. Fan slash. Gyrocopter. Uh, yeah. Drone. Like a drone sitting in midair. Good job. Thank you. I don't need that too. Yay! Woo! Don't have enough lives though. I've lost so many lives. To I like how you can still oh, move and get a shot it. off even as the health drops. That may help to pick off a tough baddie if you have lives remaining. Yes. Health drops that to is zero. Good. Yeah. I died in the exact same spot on level it's eight mean. again. It's mean. It, I go for the thing and turn around. Oh, you're dead, dead. Dead, dead oh, again. Oh no! Back to the beginning. I'll do better this time. <laughs> oh no, I'm not. Is this the beginning? level? Yeah, oh, this is okay. back to the beginning. I'll do better. See, tough to memorize all the traps. It yeah. is. There's 20 levels. Health drains really fast when you get hit. Yeah. Oh, really fast. Yeah. Yes. And you can't fly up again once you're in a new um, screen. Yeah, you can't. Oh, oh, um, you can't to, go a to a previous, previous screen. screen. Yeah. You can go to a previous level, but not a previous screen, like a previous level on the same screen. Yes. Um, pre previous floor, we'll previous say. Previous floor. Yeah. That's a better way. Yeah. I love the um, the toxic. <laughs> slime or ooze Going like that. or yeah it does give you a reprieve you until you touch the joystick yeah you have a break you have a break which um, is nice also looks a little bit like a graphic equalizer it does i think i'm gonna go up here yep much better easier oh yeah okay there's a trap right there it comes up so slowly that it's like ugh. Get those dolphins. Get those Get them green, good. green dolphins. Radioactive venom, yeah. I got my head caught in the oh ceiling. Oh my goodness. How did you do that? What a waste. What a waste. I don't know. You can get your head caught in the ceiling, yeah. apparently. Okay, we're all going to scream, it's a trap, when it's he gets to level yes. 8. Right away. It's a trap. And your best, um, whatever guy, that guy's name is. Akbar? In Star Wars? Uh. <laughs> it's a trap. There's like alternate paths that you don't need to go. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Oh, oh no! You hit good. him! Good job. You really gotta kill him because otherwise he just makes your life. Two Some energies time. in a row. They know. Good job. Okay, it's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. No. <gasps> so slow. Can you shoot it? Oh, good job. <laughs> Get that energy. You can it. shoot the bullets. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get that energy. Good job. <gasps> Oof. Oh, she's there. Get it. I don't care about that. Yay! <laughs> it doesn't help you because you'd go to the next screen anyway. Nostalgic. It's a trap. It's a trap. Admiral Akbar, yes. <laughs> Ooh. That's uh, something I want to get. What is? Oh, it goes through the wall. What does? Oh, these mm. bullets. Oh, I can't. What? What's what's happening here? Mine don't. How come I can't? Uh oh. Oh. Oof. Oh, you got caught I there. Just, oh <gasps> You're gonna God, die. What a waste of time. Uh, uh, 
just wasn't over far enough because it's a trap there for 100%. <laughs> Oh, and his bullets die when he dies. Oh, that's good to know. Mm. This looks like a trap. Nope. Shoot. Too Ooh. much fun. Oh, it's a trap. Oh, do they keep coming out? Nope, just one. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, you're getting through quite a few levels now. Yep. And you get the energy. <gasps> Whoa. Interesting level. Very interesting. Yay! Level eleven out level. of twenty. Ooh. Eleven. Place off to the right? It's gotta be. Yep. I was like, what? what's happening here? There's nowhere to go. Seems that levels are either vertical or horizontal, but yes. not both. Not both, yeah. Which is makes it a little bit easier to navigate. Which is nice. James, are you getting a handle on the controls now? I was the one who was struggling <laughs> with the controls. James is doing very well. I think I... That is, uh, that is a trap if I ever saw a trap. No. Yeah. I think I'm figuring them out. Yes. It's actually makes it quite fast if you understand the controls. I feel like you've wrapped almost. This looks like the... Um, there's similarities between the levels, but then they do some like, slight differences. Yeah. Like this looks like the same level too. They're just a few, a few um, other sprites or bad guys. Oh, good job. Oh, oh, your health is down to nothing. That's, that's okay. As long as I <gasps> don't hit anything. Woo! Oh my god. Oh my god, what's happening here? Oh my god, what? What? Where do I go? Up. Blow it. it. But then what? Yeah, might, you might be going up. This will be the first up. Maybe. There is definitely no down. Yeah, or maybe maybe the wall to the left opens up or something. Well, we just have to take it one bomb at a time. We're going up. Oh, it is an up. Wow. Am I shooting it? Yes, I am. I don't really want that. And that. I need to go up. That's hard. I need that. And that. I think I need all the things. Yeah. Up in the middle or up in the sides? Hmm. You might. Yeah, I definitely need. Oh, yeah, I should have. Um... There we go. Yeah. I'm always gonna go up on the side, I think. Oh <gasps> my god, no, oh, no! No! Is that your last life? Yes. Oh no! Level 13. It's a big game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree, Tex Rich. No. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm never gonna make it that far, so. Um, You've showed off a fair number of those levels. Level, level 20. Lucky level 13. Okay. Uh, do you want me to play again? I'll play one more time mm. if you want. You um, start. Because I think I can do it better and keep more of my lives. Um, but I'm willing to stop here if you're done. No one's just done. Put, just put we yes. We want to see him hit level 20, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's 20. 20. And I made it to 13. Yep. And it doesn't seem that they're getting excessively harder. They're just, they're just a little different. more complicated, and you don't know what's coming. Right? Okay, I'll do it. Yeah. All the yeses convince me. <laughs> Everyone's like, meh. Meh, we don't care. <laughs> oh, course, they're on a time delay. So, <laughs> sure. 
Go! Somebody said sure. <laughs> 20, I see, says Tex Rich. <laughs> yeah, quite a few. Oh my god. <gasps> or, or not, you don't have to keep going. <laughs> Uh, ZPH to end my day? Yes, please. Aw, okay. thank you, Render Ghost. Thank you. Mm hmm. I'm very careless now. Yeah, because you made it to 13. Yeah. Rage! Yeah, there was a rage reset. Oh. If you press down at that spot, you can set off the uh, dynamite accidentally yeah. when landing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can shoot their shots. Which is good. Which is great. Do four lives. It doesn't give you many lives after this. It's like, yeah, you're on your own. That's a deadly spot. Yeah, it's it the looks most really deadly hard. spot in the whole game. Yeah, in it's fact, very tight. Glad those snakes don't go all the way, to, or dolphins don't, don't go all the way over. Oh, yeah. It is very picky about your positioning. I do it is have to, very precise. Yeah. I have to remember that one level where you have to be exact. You can't get through that spot. Yeah. Remember where it's I was having tight. trouble? Yes, it's very tight. Wish it. Pull this guy out if I had a chance. Angry you green get, face. You get that alien. <laughs> you get that alien good. Yeah. You come over here, then I just blast through you. Blast through that. Kill you. I could go down the left, but I don't for some reason. And that's why. Because then you can just blast through it. But yeah, if you hold down. It'll yeah. set it off if you just press down to land to in order oh, I to see. land. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, this is definitely the right way to do it. I love Oof. that there's one up level too. Yeah. That's really cool. Unexpected. Some of their bullets aren't on the same level as you. No, which is crazy. So you can't shoot some of them. Yeah. Which is which is good. Weird. What is the point of that? <laughs> what is the point? I guess if your health is low and you're worried or yeah, something. Yeah, or you, you're but... just about to get there, I guess. I had trouble with? Job. No. Yes, it is. is it? Yeah. Do you find the horizontal easier than the vertical? Uh, one second. Uh, no. I mean, just, Tra traversing just, horizontally? Uh, yeah, it is. It's much easier. It looks like it is. Because you don't have to, um... <gasps> oh! No! I got him last time. Oh, no. Uh, you have to fire immediately. Mm. Waste of life! No. Waste of life! I'll be right back. I'm just getting a drink. Mm, Don't can you die. Get more water, please. Yes, I can. One second. I'll wait till you finish the level and then. Yeah. 
Bad energy. Get it good. Oh no! Oh, I did die though. I was very close. Was... Yeah. Lucky. Thank you. Just a tiny bit of ice. That's their only reason in life to live, is to kill us on stairs and in the dark. This is a very good game. I like this better than Hero, actually. Especially now I can play it on an arcade stick, rather than... Um, the Atari VCS controls. Okay, you come over here, then I just fly through these levels. Oh my god! Waste! No extra lives after this. Okay. He's so fast. Oh my god, died again. Two lives on the same level. This is not... What did I make it to last time? 13. Yeah. Did I? No. I made it higher than this. Is this the level I died on? Better be careful, it's my last life. Unfortunately, they count die lives as the lives on the screen, so I'm literally on my last life. Oh, I have to go up. Sorry. <laughs> Don't be stuck in the floor. Oh, 13 again? Yeah. Can't remember where he died, though. Oh, it was these three green guys? Oh. Was it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I just got too close them. to them, which was terribly yeah. stupid. These guys. <gasps> Energy, you need it desperately. <gasps> oh my God. Get it, get it. Oh, barely. Get that too. Oh, you need it so bad. Oh, heart. Oh, finally. Thank you, game. Oh. Get it, get her. Oh. Yay! Oh. Woo! Level 13. Level oh, 14. A hard one. I predict there's something on the bottom that's going to come out here, because that's too easy. Mm. Yep. You are correct. Oof. Flashing walls are lava, right? Yep, so you can't touch them very much. <laughs> you have to touch them a bit sometimes, unfortunately, because you have to get really close. Two lives to stupidity in the last. Oh, didn't have enough energy. Another stupidity. Hi. That one you have to race through. Hey, how are you, Black Kitten? Can you get his tail off me? Oh, is your is you are you bugging him with your tail? Are you bugging him with your tail? Yeah. Yeah, little baby cat. Oh, vicious, vicious. He's trying to kill me. Desperate, desperately hungry. 
It's like, someone put water in my food today. <laughs> I didn't like it. I couldn't eat it. I was picky. The crusts on my sandwich weren't cut off, so I refused to eat the food. <laughs> You're a very silly cat. The is lava. Kitten. Did he do that? Yes, his <gasps> tail got in the joystick and it slipped off. Uh, is that what happened? <laughs> you, can, you can check the replay. <laughs> oh, level 15. Very good, though. Oh, I can do better. I like how there's a giant alien head bombing up and down in an impenetrable <laughs> box for no reason. Yes. Why not? Yes. The cat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I told you to keep him away from me, and you did not. <gasps> I did it. I did. He just jumped down. I can do better. He's not a cat. Now you get your catnip. Yeah, the walls are lava, not the floors. Oh. Uh, Correct. Oh, God. Damn it. There's, there's some rage going on now. Yep. Whose fault is that? Cats. Cat, the cat disagrees. The cat said if you had just given, given him the food he wanted... Without the water? He wouldn't have interfered with the level 15. Uh-huh. <laughs> Kitten crash. Kitten uh, crash. He's getting his own back. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, he's so cute, though. Okay, you can do better this time. He knows he's cute. Don't you know you're cute? I'm gonna die on those stupid levels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a dev. I get it. I would need a pizza or a hamburger if someone dumped water on them. <laughs> <laughs> it's already in kind of water. Yeah, it's like wet food, but they're chunks in like almost like a gravy. So it's, it's already wet? It's not as much as the water I put you in. You might have though. put too much in. He was like, no, I refuse is, to eat. This it. is water. This is not food. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't order no. soup. Send it back to the kitchen. Yeah. I ordered steak, <laughs> medium rare, and you gave me... Soup. Beef and barley soup. No, I, no, absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. popping up and down. It's so weird. Interesting how you get points when you shoot an alien even if it's not yet killed. Oh, I guess you get points for... I don't know for... if any other game on any platform that does that. Mm. Good job. Flying through. Thank you. I don't know if that's faster to go back and forth, but it's something. Yeah, you get to learn techniques of flying mm. really quick. About, like, when to press down, when to just fly through things. And timing of shots is very important. And strafing is super important. Oh, that was bad. Um, yeah. If you're going for points, you would shoot that alien and get yeah. that thing, but I don't... I'm going for, um, not points. You touched the lava wall. I did touch the lava wall. Lava wall. Don't touch the lava wall. No. It'll hurt you. See if you can kill those drones. There's only a few of them that are oh. actually accessible to shoot, so. Uh -huh. Kept myself safe mm -hmm. while doing Yay. it, even though I wouldn't have had enough time with my energy mm. that's left. Fly! Oh my god. So 
what else have we been watching? We've been watching The Cult Show on Netflix. Yep. Which has been an, actually quite entertaining. I always yeah. love those. Cults are scary. What was the first? How to be a dictator. How to be a dictator. And yeah. then they came up with how to be a cult leader. And it just goes through the history of basically the behaviors of I dictators and then cult leaders. I don't think I watched all the dictator one. This one's more I interesting. You did. Might have. I love those kinds of little, little like light documentary. It's very light. Um, Guides you through with a narrator. Very fun. Step one, invent a religion. Yeah. Yep. Um, it, it, it outlines it, the it steps. It outlines yep. the steps. Like, every episode is a certain step. Like, um, cut your followers off from, from the outside world. Or, yep. you know, cut off ties or whatever. And it just goes Perform through. Perform a miracle. And then it talks about different cults through history, basically. And, and how they did those things, you yeah. know? Um, but it's quite, quite interesting. And they usually concentrate on one, but they flash back to other ones as well. Yeah, and, and there were a few that I'd never actually heard of before, so, yeah. um, uh, yeah, it was quite interesting. Or make DLC for an existing religion. <laughs> yes, that's another that's way exactly of doing it. That's exactly way of doing it. Yeah, exactly. And you can go, wait, yeah. there's more, <laughs> and just add on. Yeah, that's another good way. Yeah. This one is a slog. Very good. I and I thing. finally watched Arcane at from the recommendation of someone in the chat. Yeah. Um which was fantastic. And I know it came out I think in 2021 and I Did was it? looking. Oh. I was wondering if they cuz I don't play um League of Legends or anything like right. that. So I never really thought about watching it. Uh it is fantastic. The animation is fantastic. The story is really good. Like very impressive. Um, yeah, the animation's amazing. Animation's gorgeous. And I was just reading somewhere, so it came out in 2021. And they had no idea if they were going to get a second season, so they never started on more animation for season two, even though it ends at a cliffhanger. So the next season's not coming out until 2024. Because oh. it takes a long time to animation. animate a story, right? So long. Um, but I was reading somewhere that they're not restricted by the writer's strike because it's been written already I oh. guess. So no it rewrites, should still I guess. be coming out in 2024. So. Um, but very good. No, I haven't watched Castlevania. I'll have to watch that too. Um, uh, Gamma oh says... Oh my god! The oh, trap! Where's Ivory my... Tower was asking so the actual ROM is available now to play on actual 2600s. No. I thought it was exclusive to the VCS. It is. I bought this ROM. I'm playing it on the 2600. But you bought the ROM, but yeah. the ROM is available. Uh, no, it's not available. Sorry? It just happened. How do you have it then? Because if it's not available? because I took my purchased ROM. Yeah. Off the VCS. Off the VCS. Gotcha. And put it onto my system. Yeah. So you bought it through the VCS. Yes. Very it's good. a legally purchased ROM. Legally purchased game. But I am time shifting. Yeah. Uh, like, RC, yeah, yeah, RC70 was just saying, I thought SAG is on strike too, though. They are. Uh, they are, but it depends on what stage season two is at, I guess. Ooh, it died twice in this long. And, and the article I read was just referencing the writer's strike, so it, it's possible it was written before the acting strike, like the actor's strike, so I don't know. Yeah, somebody on um, Facebook asked me that as well. It's like, what, the ROM's released? Yeah. So, no, it's not released. No, <laughs> it's just on VCS. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, but I think it probably just depends. I don't know. I don't know the order they do animations in, because often they do the voice work before they oh, animate. Gotcha. So if they've already done the voice work and they're in the steps of animating the story, then it might already be done. Um, but yeah, voice yeah, work is it's done first. Just quite a quite a lag between season one and season two. And you can dub reading. and do ADR, but it's much slower. Yeah. Um, but that was very, very good. Uh, Gamma Dad says, I really dug the latest season of Star Trek Strange New Worlds. I don't think I've watched any of the more recent Star Treks. Um, no. I probably should. I really enjoyed the older Star Trek series. But uh, it's not what I've gotten into. We just watch Red Letter Media. And they're <laughs> them complain skewering and complaining of, of all the Star Trek series. But, um, oh. Can't go down that side. 
Oh, I'm going to be so slow on this one. Come on. SNW is very much like the older ones compared to the other new ones. Well, that's kind of nice to hear. A little less action movie-y and a little bit more story-driven would be nice, so... I should say, better story. <laughs> better story. I, I, I can't really say. I haven't seen a lot of the... And the movies were meh. Just action movies. Oh, the latest movies, yeah. They were fine. Eh. They were fine. Eh. James is meh. You're meh on most things, though. <laughs> it takes a lot to, to get you excited about a film. A little bit. My last life. Stop it. You're on 16, though. Uh -huh. Good for you. Oh, I'm stuck in the floor. Oof. This, was, this level Good wasn't job. too bad. Ooh, take a break. Stretch out the hands. Yeah, I'm only playing this on the 2600 because I like my arcade joysticks mm. better than the VCS gamepad and the C CX40 Imposter. I just I never liked the CX forty on the on the twenty six hundred. I always found mm. it like so stiff. It yeah. feels like you're not even moving it. Yeah. Some people love that because it's short action. It's short, so short. Short movement. Yeah. I checked the replay sprite, and knew what he was doing. <laughs> Is that from being a filmmaker, or was James like that before? It's an accumulation of just seeing the same Stories. ideas over and over again. Yeah. And I'm like, I've seen this, and they're not doing it in a different way. Sometimes. Rarely, you see a movie, it's like, okay, this is a similar story to this, but they're doing it in a totally different way. Yeah. Which I'm which I'm fine with. But, like, mm -hmm. unfortunately, I watched, was it Arcane? Oh, you watched the first episode of Arcane. And it was all, like... A very, very tropey, the first cut one was. paste, tro everything out of their mouths was, like, something from yeah. another movie. But, 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 but you didn't stick with it because no. the future episodes really are much different than what you what you think the where you think it's going to and maybe go. they went with that because it's nice and comfortable and easy to watch for people and easy to get into well it, it just creates creates the story that follows through right why but is my energy zero kitten you're dead did you touch the joystick <gasps> what happened the cats <laughs> oh no did he do that or did why? you die why what happened here i don't know what happened did maybe you hit it well, he was the, settling. It's a cat spiracy. All it takes is one touch. <gasps> cat spiracy. But I don't know if he could move it enough. I don't know. Maybe you moved it. I didn't touch it. Oh, no. I'm going to get a replay on that. <laughs> maybe you can't sit and stew M forever. Maybe not forever. Maybe it does eventually. Oh, it's level 17. Yeah. Oh. Did you die? What happened? Yeah, I died. I was just sitting at the top, and I ran out of energy by just sitting there. You must have because moved. Because the joystick moved, or it moved. gives up. Is there a timeout on how long you can wait? There must be. Well, I'm going to check. Have to check the replay again, Prowse on back. replay. <laughs> like in Joust. Cats yep. or aliens in there for object to battling the alien abduction, yes. Well, I'm going to have to play this game again oh, some goodness. other time, because... Playing it back. Cats are bad. They destroyed. Yes, He's actually watching the replay as we're streaming Don't need right to hear now. It, so. <laughs> we're going to look at the replay. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh my goodness. There we go. Are you going to do picture in picture? Yeah. Just like like inception all your way through? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so level 14, level 15. I'm flying, I'm flying. I'm flying. So there's the energy's seven. fine. The cat's on Tanya's lap. Let's see when the energy starts to drop. And we're chatting. Still fine. It's going to start dropping as soon as the cat comes over. 100%. Oh, he's coming over. He's looking. He's thinking. He's coming over. Watch the joystick. He's biting my finger at the moment in real life. He just... He's near the joystick. <laughs> still hovering. His tail's going down. No, still good. Oh, something happened there. And I ducked. <gasps> what happened? Yep. He there, it the, starts going down right there. But he touched the joystick. He's <laughs> he pushed the joystick down with his tail. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, these cats. 
It was the tail. Yep. Yeah. Aren't you proud of yourself? Yeah, you ruined his streak. I was up to level 17. <laughs> Kittens. <laughs> Why? Punishment <laughs> for having a loose joystick. Yeah, I was talking about CX-40s and how tight they are. And the cat comes along and goes, flick, flick, flick. Oh, oh. first Sprite, then Atari. Back, back, to, back to the normal... Oh, uh, uh, Non-original oh, equipment, yeah. same thing that did in Billy <laughs> yeah, Mitchell. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, you kitties! It's the red joystick, the red ball joystick. Isn't is the original one the red ball? No, the the one he got caught out for was red ball. So yeah, yeah. same thing. Yeah, there you go. Red ball joystick strikes again. <laughs> oh boy! Well, mm. at least there's no court case against me. <laughs> Just cats. Yeah. Just cat spiracies. Cat spiracies everywhere. Oh, cats. <laughs> oh, we'll have to do an after dark on this one. We might have to. Yep. You're you're pretty close. I I could I think I can do it. I made <laughs> I died twice on one level that brought me from full hearts yeah. down to just two hearts. Mm -hmm. And then I gained one and then Atari, you absolute legend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, sorry. You're yes. so naughty. Aww. Naughty kitty. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, really good game. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a good game. Yes. Um, if you don't have it, I mean, you have to have a VCS. Um, if you have a VCS and you don't have it, oh, why don't you have it? It's really good. It's like seven oh, it's US. Great. It was nine dollars Canadian by the original creator of Hero. Yes. You know, Original. You know what's good? John OG. Van Ryzen. Yeah. That's right. Very, very cool. Imagine that happening at level 20. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, kitties. If you oh, did that in level look 20. Look at these guys. Oh, look at him. He's touching me. He's like, already, yeah, I'm proud. They're already plotting yeah. <laughs> for next time. He did one and then he did yeah, one. Yeah, oh. you guys. <sighs> you guys. I'll get it next time. <laughs> if I can make it to level they're 17. They're so proud of themselves. They you, they're just blinking blinking yeah. their little cat eyes so so smug so happy oh, boy. yeah yep. um <laughs> so uh, coming up um we're gonna play mario brothers exclusive final build don't have a date on that probably this month near the end um we're gonna be doing a 7800 game drive special a live interview with james bolton saint of retro hq mm -hmm. Um, we may be doing 7800 next on Tuesday. Or Atari 8-bit, I do have to schedule an ABBUC, um, like, games because okay. their, their software contest is happening right now. Oh, so we're going to play them before they announce the winners? It's actually, no, not before. Oh, after. I can't. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah. I... They have their own thing. Yeah. They, they do their own thing with their own and presentation. And then they announce their winners. Because yeah. if they didn't have their own video stream, I would say, hey, I'll do your video stream. But they, they have everything set up. Yeah. I'll do it after they've released them. Yeah. They've released some videos of ABBUC contest entries. Mm -hmm. um, but as soon as they announce the winners, that then they can post them publicly, I believe. Um, yeah, the guy who made Alien Abduction made Hero. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a great sequel of sorts, mm -hmm. inspired sequel. Uh, it's so good um, and easier, <laughs> but also harder. Yeah. I like it more. I'll just say that. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the controls. Once you get used to how the controls work, you can be very fast moving through the game, like really fast. On Hero, because of that slight delay in moving up, just kills me. I still don't have the patch for Hero. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe I can make that a double header. Hero and uh, Hero and Alien Abduction. Alien Abduction. I like get it. Get 20, level 20 on Alien Abduction and get my patch on Hero. So yeah. I'll get practice on either one. I'll go for the patch later because I think level 20 is more attainable than the patch on Hero. Uh, is there buzzing? Mm. Oh, Mike. Mike buzzing. Oh no, right. something got pulled again? out. <laughs> it's always a cat spiracy. Oh, it's bad. still buzzing. 
I thought maybe. Still doesn't. Hmm. Hopefully that hasn't been all show. Oh. Hmm. Very odd. Maybe my mic's, my mic's just too high. I don't know. Check, 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 check. Check. Check, check, check. Can you talk into my phone? Hello. Louder. Hello. Hello. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to check later. Something might be buzzing but the only thing that's going through is oh it could be this no change no it's not done oh well hopefully that wasn't the whole, whole show it's something mm. i'll find it later it's okay. the show. <laughs> um uh we also have a ColecoVision special i don't have those um scheduled mm. um trying to think of what to do at prge mm. i thought of my just going really simple Bring in the laptop, okay. a webcam, yeah, and that's it. Okay. And we can, can um, broadcast through either the Wi-Fi there, mm -hmm. which I don't know how good that is. I think we bought it one year and it was like, mm, it's like okay, or through cell phone, which is also kind of shifty as well because there's so many people there. Also broadcasting and on their phones. Yeah. 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 So it's that or film and then ugh, upload it later. But it's nice to do it live. That's not fun. Yeah. It's nice to do it live. I didn't I don't want to do like structured interviews. I just want to kind of go around and look at things, do it live and then maybe compile it all together. Mm. Like do it live on Twitch and then compile it all together later mm. into one video. Um so that's an idea. Uh I'm going to do testing with like the webcam and the laptop and see what quality i can squeeze out a laptop because it's nowhere near as powerful as the computer we broadcast with yeah and so but also the bandwidth won't be as much so i won't have to go to the high quality so we'll see it might we'll be 720p or something we'll like figure that something out. yeah um and later this year we're going to be doing atari jaguar's 30th anniversary class and gaming countdown mm -hmm. three days of all classic jaguar games um what else is happening uh i'll schedule some more stuff it's still summertime the games are a slow trickle still people are on vacation people are enjoying themselves mm -hmm. people are staying out of the heat i don't know if we have any um hawaii viewers but uh oh. hope you were safe yeah if anyone's if anyone watch is watching from maui i doubt they are right now cause, not right now but uh yeah, yeah. what was um, the town uh, Lahaina. Lahaina. It's just gone. Which we've been to. Did we go? Yes. Yeah. We went to Maui? Yeah. Oh. He doesn't even remember now. <laughs> uh, yeah, vacation. just terrible. And uh, it's yeah. just, yeah, it's I gone. It's my, my heart gone. goes out to the people who are there and, and leave All their houses, and everything. like everything, just gone. That's yeah, crazy. It's so, terrible. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully you're safe. Yes. Your family is safe. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think we're done for the day um yeah, have, so have yeah, a good evening have a, great have a weekend. wonderful weekend um i'm sure next week it won't be me on friday uh but uh um, probably not both erlin and darcy also have vacations and stuff going on so it's summer Makes um sense. so hopefully yeah. next time uh yeah it might not be me but i'll be around on tuesday so yep yeah or she might be back on I friday might be again. Back. I, I don't know. mind. I'm here. Thanks for tuning in. Yep. Pseudographics, RC70, Gamma Dev, Nostalgic26, Text Rich, uh, Rena Foot, Rendered Ghost. Wow, seven I saw in there. Testing and working or Tested working. Tested and rocking. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ivory Tower Collections. Mm. Rendered Ghost. Miss Nomer. Mad Doggy. <laughs> Mad Doggy, nice. Um, Arena Foot. Arena Foot. Rod, Rod Kastler. Kastler too. 
Lots of peeps. And everyone Yay! else. Yay! Thank you for joining us. Watching live but lurking or watching on YouTube. Yes. Hi, if you made it this far. Yeah. Um and, and thank you. Great stream. Thank you, three. Three. What about the fourth cat? Yeah. We're all cats here. <laughs> <laughs> um and we'll be back on Tuesday, yes. probably with 7,800 games nice. or Atari 8 nice. bit games. Excellent. We'll see. Yep. And uh, until then, have a great weekend yes. and enjoy yourself and stay cool. We'll see you next time. Right. Bye bye, everyone. Bye.